That's right. Settle down. It's the Dr. Green Thumb Show. We're back. It's Monday. We've sur- we've survived yet another one. And I'm here with my man, Mr. Goodlight, the lit one, C minus. Hello. Hello. Like your hat. Thank you, sir. It's a good hat. And the sniper tower, Bolton Blombo Bra Bra. Baking it. B and Boo. I like that sweater, B. Thank you. It is it is a little swaggish. Um or or is it dripping? That's the new di- new drip, deal. Drip, drip, dripping. We're dripping today. Dripping, bro. We're dripping. Um, Dominator is roaming around. You know what I'm saying? He's here. Um, we got Cairo. Yes, sir. Cairo loves you. You got a nice hat, too. And he loves himself. Uh, you got a nice hat, too. It's yeah. nice hat day. Repping that Bart. Speaking of hats, we got the <laughs> Concentrate King. Callie Blaze up on her. You like my hat? Yeah, your hat is fucking <laughs> best. Happy Monday, everybody. He's got the best hat. It's a red one. Right. Look at that shit. Try to blood keep red. Sh- <laughs> Try to keep the less shiny. <laughs> he said, get, let me get that blood red shine on. Nice blood. beanie. <laughs> nice <laughs> beanie. <laughs> nice scully. That's what they call them up, 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 up in New York. In New York. Scullies. They don't, scully. We do beanies down here on the West Coast. For them, it's a scully, son. That's right. Yo, dead ass B. <laughs> dead ass B. That's right. Shit. And um, up in the nest, in the tree of trust. Ah. Oh. Hickory sticks and snacks accompanied by... Eric Bobo. Eat, motherfuckers. What's going on? I like your fucking Bobo Woods shirt you got popping off. Just came from the course. That's right. We fucking golf tees. The Masters. The Masters. You know, Tiger Woods said, uh, yo, uh, you want to come out and uh, shoot a couple tees? I said, yeah. (laughs) You know, let's go. Let's do it. Oh, that was oh. a good one right there. He's all that shit. I did. Oh, man, that was pretty good. Throwing, you're, getting, you're getting good at this. Throwing joints. Yeah, you know, sometimes we have to just deliver them in a way <laughs> that um, is conducive to all of us. It's like that FedEx driver. Um, Aton, if you will, can you come turn this AC on in here, please? Right. Thank you. We might be joined by DJ Lord in a little bit. He's hmm. in town because we got business. Oh, um, speaking of business... Um, Salute to everybody in North Carolina that came down to see us play on Saturday. It was a nice, nice, nice show. Looked it. Um, a lot of people came out. Um, pretty much sold out. That's right. Twenty-three thousand people, I think, or what? Would, what was it, Bobo? Something like that. Something close. Numbers. And uh, yes, we was we was doing numbers, and uh, you know we fucking smashed the set. We played um, two new joints. Word. I saw that. I, I I got five down C minus. Remember I told Bobo yeah. I got to learn these mm-hmm. songs. I got five. On, I got five on it. Got it good. And uh, you know everybody did their thing. Bobo and uh, DJ Lord smashed the fuck out of the duet. That was awesome. I mean they were blowing people's minds. That's right. And uh, it was just. It was good, man. These motherfuckers, um, they had a good time, man. I, I like when I see the crowd have a good time. They were engaged as hell. Totally engaged. Big and time. and and the big, but the big thing, right? Um, for the show and all that stuff, um, one was that we they let us, um, or did I? Yeah, I smoked on stage. Hell yeah. yeah. And usually that's a place where they tell you, hey, are they still no? Yes, no. no. And so, you know, I thought we were going to get the warning, 
but they fucking were like, beautiful, whatever. Excellent. And that was awesome. But the other thing, this chick threw a phone, threw her phone on stage. I seen that. <laughs> that was dope. I was like, oh, is this where it's going now? <laughs> I'll take my phone. All right, fuck it. And uh, you know, I picked it up, gave them the crowd shot, then the fucking selfie, and then poof, tossed it back. It looked like I jumped with the phone, but I, did. I didn't do that. People, like, oh, I threw the phone back. That's to, a moment of a lifetime, fuck. Yeah. Right. My here friend. it is, right here. So dope. Toss. <laughs> <laughs> See, it looked like I did a stage job, but I just, this, the, the phone did a stage job. She caught it? How Her man she... caught it. Oh, okay. Dope. And, you know, like, we were doing this this show, right? Mm -hmm. And each point of it, we were just smashing through it. And all I kept thinking was, Onyx got to deal with that. Yeah, mm. word up. Word how up. could they? Yeah. How could they possibly? They can't. Man, they were saying something. Yeah, look, yeah, yeah. I love those guys. Those are my bros. Word. Let me say that off right. top. But you know, in, in one interview, he's you know, Fredro said, "I love those guys, but they got to get murdered." Uh, you know, but listen, I know what you're saying, but he got to say that. He got to say that. Got to say that. He got to say he that. Does. So it's just like I got to say. Correct. We're putting heads out. Two heads. <laughs> there you go. Coming off. Correct. I think he knows in his heart that ain't true. Hey, <laughs> come back over here. No joke. Two heads. Coming off. Cha ching Gotta agree, and that's a, <sighs> that hurts my soul. <clears throat> Onyx is fucking South Queens. That's where I came from. But wow, if, not for nothing. Yeah. This is gonna be great. It's gonna be great, but I still know who's gonna win. Because I know they're coming with it. I will never underestimate my brothers. Because I know that they are specialists. Yeah. But the catalog is the big diff. Word. That was the big. Statement. We could match them for energy, but can you match our catalog? I think specifically what he said to Shirley Jew in the interview was that Cypress Hill has not had a song bigger than Slam. And that's not true. That's the quote from Fred. All right, so I just want I want to state a fact here. And 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 Bolton can can do this fact check. Let's just say, for example, we go to Spotify and you look up Onyx's Slam. Mm -hmm. It's about forty seven million six hundred something two hundred thousand streams something like that it's about 47 million in change that's a lot it's a lot but my my, my men's do work da, da. but if you look at insane in the brain well let's just say that's 370 million Ooh, streams talk on now. <laughs> so like you know when they say that we don't have a big enough song to match up against slam well i think slam just slammed into the wall of insanity <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can look that up for yourself. I didn't make that shit up. Watch. Go go to the Spotify uh, profile and look up Slam and the number of Slams. 47. 47 billion, 182, million. and 26,000. 26. Okay. There you go. <laughs> There's that. And then. Oh, man. Oh. There is that. And 260. Sorry, I embellished Damn. a little bit. But look at hits from the bomb. This first look at Tequila all Sunrise. Five. All, all, of, five. all of our first five Fast. songs right there are fucking Already. smashing on the biggest one. <laughs> it went, so when you say that they don't have a song bigger than <laughs> Slam. Oh, oh, pobrecito. I <laughs> wait. Yeah, I don't know how this happens, but look, how I could just kill a man is 10, 10 million more than... <laughs> <laughs> that's and then the gap between Slam and their next best, best song it's only five times the amount, over five times. I mean, your dude. top song got five times. Yeah, I mean, look, look at this. That that their biggest song is in double digits. The rest, not so much. Dude, they don't. Even and I gotta tell you, I love throw your guns in the Hell air, yeah. and I love um, shut them down. shut them down. I Last love days. I love uh, back the fuck up. That's oh, one of my favorite absolutely. Onyx songs. Like that shit is. Yeah. One of my favorites. Back the and, fuck up. And on their later album, it's time to get mad. 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 Throw, your gu throw your guns oh, in the air. That shit is a cold song. Uh oh. Like I'm, I'm a fan of them. Like they, they're a fan of us. Yep. I mean, I, I want no one to think that you know their saltiness because I love these guys and it's going to be great for hip hop, and it's going to be great for the fans. Yeah. 
But it ain't gonna be great matching up that catalog, baby. <laughs> no, that was a bad statement to well, make. Well, is he? <laughs> no, so man, I just wanted man. to address that because everybody's been hitting me with that fucking Vlad TV fucking clip oh, of 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 Fredro saying this and then what he just said on Shirley Jew and all this is other stuff and salute to Shirley Jew for you know pumping this up a little bit more because it it's it's everything. I mean, you know, it's it's gonna be a battle. Yeah. I'm just telling you. But you know we're coming ready. And it's not just you though. If if you read a lot of the things in verses, the biggest complaint people say is not that they don't want to see it, but it's just a murder. Everyone's yeah. like Cypress got they don't they can't compare with catalog. Everybody's saying the same thing. I don't thing, want people know? to underestimate them guys though. No, I get it. Because realistically, you know, you're discounting <laughs> them and their talent when you do that. But I mean, it's not for nothing blaze but yeah. yeah i mean everybody's been hitting me up like why <laughs> like fuck man it's uh, we accepted well, a challenge right. they yeah. challenged us will, what do you want us to do will mine? they play slam more than once most likely uh, i mean did people maybe do that twice news? exhibit told me what they gonna do play slam 10 times <laughs> <laughs> let boys be boys <laughs> he did that crazy <laughs> exhibit laugh this is crazy. I mean, that first album though, amazing. Is, it's amazing. Long That's an amazing first huge. album, a debut album in hip hop. Like huge. that first Onyx album is fucking stacked all the way. There's Shy not a bad Skills. song on there. Shy Skills did his thing. Oh yeah, he did. Hell his yeah, thing. he did. Rest in peace for sure. Yeah. Nah, those first two albums had slappers on them. You know what I mean? They did. I don't remember that second record though. Yeah, Last Days was a good one. Had a couple good songs. You know, I'll go yeah. revisit it. Go for it. Yeah, there's a, a good three piece on there. That's but this will be that a, one right there. A, that's the number one. This is gonna be a blowout. <laughs> Me and my <laughs> homies, <laughs> we got that. <laughs> Versus on twenties. Mm. Dude, they this were, oh yeah, they should be know. interesting to say the least. They did shout you guys out in their biopic, uh, Let the Boys Be Boys. Uh, yeah. Shirley Jew was going into those details, and they gave you guys a lot of yeah. the inspiration for all what they love. did. Yeah, I mean, that's why it's all love. You know, it's it's all friendly because these dudes are pros. We did fucking shows with them, like festivals with them. I mean, and not for nothing. And that's Shirley Jew interview, and, and uh, in their doc, they, they say how, you know, we're a part of their get down, like, you know, as, as inspiration, like the, the way it was for Wu-Tang. Right. You know, in their right. biopic, they, they show a scene where they're listening to our shit and they're fucking bugging out off of it. And that that is the truth. Just like with, with us and Public Enemy. Fuck, we used to check out Public Enemy all the time. And, and we say that in a lot of our shit. Like, they were one of our biggest influences. So, you know, um, they're, they're, they're our homies and shit. And this is for hip-hop. But, you know, we're going in. It's just like with UFC. You may have be boys with this dude you have to fight you've trained together you're in the same camp but like you're trying to get that same belt so you, for that for those five rounds or three depending if it's a title match <laughs> and if it is and if it's a title match it's five you, all that friendship shit goes out the window for those five rounds head chopping head chop so true that's what it's gonna be i mean hey look they want to murder us so i gotta take off the heads yeah snacks is gonna be there who? Snacks. Snacks. <laughs> Snacks is going to be accompanying us. Damn, is he going to wear the hat? Salute to Snacks. Hell yeah. <laughs> It's National Pet Day. We're going to get Snacks' his goddamn Cypress chain and, like, really um, <laughs> do it up big. How hard would that be, man, on the verses? That Snacks would just be right there. They're going to say, who, who the fuck is that? Snacks, son. Snacks. Snacks, son. <laughs> well, is Snacks going to uh, drop his new hit single, Fuck Pigeons? <laughs> <laughs> Waiting on that. Yeah, man, that's some fucking bangers. See, we don't fuck with pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> fuck pigeons, dog. Yeah, the hat backwards, that's everything. <laughs> he was drinking with us on Friday. Salute to GF. Yeah. yeah, salute to GF. Thanks for coming and holding it down while the doc was taking care of biz. Um, the other thing, um, drink champs. Oh, yeah. We did Hello. that. Salute to Nori and Effin and the whole squad. They made us feel at home. I felt like we was right at home. That's cool. I swear to God, it's, you know, like they're in a bar. That's the difference. Yeah. Is it there? And it's a cool bar. It's a nice, it's a nice spot. Smoke friendly, too. Smoke friendly. Um, but yeah, it was awesome, man. They had some bomb ass weed over there. Word. Of course, I had my own, but like I didn't have to smoke any of it because they had bomb shit there. That's dope. They had some cherries. They had some different brands. I've seen the lineup on Nori's uh, IG. He was yeah. posting what he was bringing in for you that day. Yeah, it was actually tastes yeah. good. It looked actually good. Actually tastes really good. And, uh, oh, yeah. And uh, 
we got the drinks on. Hell yeah. It was man. awesome. Muggs was there with us. Salute to my big bro, yeah. DJ Muggs. Like, yeah. Um, OG. We all represented heavily. Good shit. It was fucking awesome. What'd you sip on? Well, <sighs> um, everybody had something different, right? Like, so I think Muggs and, and, and um, Sen had the tequila. Bobo had a ringer. Someone was drinking for Bobo. Oh, that's he, right. Yeah. He wasn't smoking or drinking, but he was there. Um, I drank what Effin was drinking. I can't remember the name of it, but it's uh, I can't remember where it's dark from. light. It's a reddish, reddish tone. Mama wanna, <laughs> Mama wanna. Yeah, he always good drinks, for you. He wow. always drinks Mama wanna. I watch drink him. Oh, I want to get some Mama wanna down here. Mama like wanna. Papa wanna, Mama wanna. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, that's his drink of choice. Yeah, I fucks with that, and I understand why it's his drink of choice because it tastes good as fuck. Like. But it has that that little rip on it. I never had. And and then when you fucking had like five shots of it or six, or maybe even seven for the god number, you feel it. Even the game stayed away from the mama wanna. No, I took the mama wanna yeah. down, bro. I'm sh- Papa wanna son. Did you guys <laughs> get into that? Papa wanna mama. What? Uh, game shouting you out in drink chat. Did did we Bobo? I don't remember. No, that. no, no, no. I mean, we talked about so many things. I mean, yeah. it was a long. N- interview. Nori was hyper focused on on, you know, asking us certain questions and getting to it. You know what I mean? There wasn't room for any of the any of that shit. Although that there might have been something on game. I just don't remember. Because we were we were smoking a lot and drinking. Obviously, <laughs> there, there might have been one reference, but. But I don't remember to be honest. Oh, How uh, long was the was the drink? It's like three hours. It was three. Wow! Hell yeah, dude! Damn. When is that supposed to air? Any idea? I think close to the 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 documentary. Is it? I'm not it's sure. A yeah. week or so. We gotta Definitely. have a watch party. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. Uh, the, ju- the the one they did one. with the Juice Crew just happened with MC Shan and and um and uh, who else Where? was on that? Yeah, MC Shan. I saw. Yeah, MC, MC Shan's uh, day too. Huh? That ran on the other day too. I see an MC Ren was on there too. That's dope. No, <laughs> it was, no, it was dope, man. Salute to to those guys, man. And uh, one of many times we're gonna be on that shit. But oh, I told them they gotta come on. Or they gotta when you get their asses to LA. Word. You gotta bring their ass up on both, here. Both of them. Both of them. And you know, Effin's from the hometown of Southgate, so you know, of it's, course, because he wears Cypress merch on that show religiously. Yeah, he grew up to our shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, because he was from Southgate. Yeah, and we were we represented that. But uh, yeah, no, he knows all the shit. <laughs> they both did. I, I mean, we go back with Nori. He's on rock, rock, rap superstar. Whoa, whoa. He's on a feature on rap superstar. <clears throat> That's right. And uh, you know, so we go way back with him. So they were very hospitable. Yeah, I mean, it was good food. Homie made a, like I don't know how many pizzas, like seven to eight pizza different style of pizzas. What? 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 Like, there was like an oven. What? 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 Oh what? man, it was what? off the hook. I mean, they had beers. They had everything. They had bags, big sacks of weed. Let, let me oh. just and they gave us our roses. That's yeah. good. They gave us our flowers. I should say. Yeah. They were roses, but I'm saying they give us our flowers. Good. Golden flowers. Not golden showers, golden <laughs> flowers. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. Um You consider Nori gold school? Yeah. Yeah, man. Right. Absolutely. He was around in that time and, and Nori oh, yes. is a fucking nice dude because back in I think it was like ninety five or ninety six in New York there was a club called Crowbar and it was mad. I remember big, that. Big fucking joint. And I remember one of my boys grew up in you'll hear him talk about Iraq. It's left rack city. That's what they call Iraq in the CNN songs. Mm-hmm. And one of my boys grew up in his building, so we seen him out front. We sat out there and he was popping at this time, like popping, pop. Man, we sat there and smoked and chilled and drank by his car for a good two, three hours. Cool motherfucker, man. Yeah, dude. He was mad cool back Yeah, Super Thug. Cool. Yeah. Super, Super Thug. Thug. Dude, yeah. yeah, he's had some good runs between his solo career and then with CNN, you know, him and, Nor- and Noriega. I mean, uh, Capone and Noriega. Yeah. So. <laughs> and you know what? I hate to say it. I'm not talking shit because I love him. But there's certain rappers, right? Especially New York rappers. There's a couple. They always, you know, that banging beat you're into, but his lyrics, like, you know, Nori's lyrics, they were always to be, you know, like... They're fun. They're fun. They're fun, yeah. Exactly. They're fun, but they're not the best, you know? Right. Like Cameron. You look at like Cameron. Cam had a good flow sound, but, you know, when you talk about lemon heads and lines... Yeah, he wasn't... He's not your rapper's rapper. (laughs) Right. He's dope. But because they have bangers, they should get banged, you know? But when it came to, like, 
is lyrically writing talent? No, but he can make a song that the club goes I think that's why that that matchup between uh, the locks and and Dipset in verses was so crazy cuz yeah. because you're They're you're dealing so with good. you're dealing with rappers rappers right here in mm-hmm. in Jada, Sheik and in um and Ghost and uh, Styles P. Yep. Um and you're dealing with motherfuckers that you know, make slappers over here, but it's not necessarily that lyrical rapper and flip. Lyrical assassins, but ones. it's but it's dope. But you got lyrical assassins against guys that make snapping ass songs. Agreed. And you know, here's the thing though: when you put them up, you saw what happened. Mm-hmm. The rappers, rappers, of course, wrapped it like a gift. You know what I'm saying? Shrug emoji and gave everybody the presents. See what I did there? Yes. Bam. Bars. Um, yeah, man. So matchups are everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's got to be the right matchups, right vibe. But that, you know, it, 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 in spite of it being slightly a different matchup, it was still fucking dope. You know, because everybody thought that, it, you know, I don't know what anybody thought on that one. Like, because there's fans of both that. Right. I was fans of both, but I knew what was going to happen. Yeah. Those of us that <laughs> fuck with the rap shit, you knew that that was going to happen. Correct. Correct. Everybody else that didn't factor that in didn't know. Oh, Dipset might get. They're going to take this all, you know, all you day. Because they got those radio hits. Like, you know, got to get some real talk. Right. Dipset got more radio plays they do. than the lot. Hell yeah. In New York, because they, they had those, not commercial, but those, those radio songs. Locks was a lot harder, a lot heavier, so they did get more play. Well, here's the thing, right? They could have probably gave the Locks a better run. And I know this is an old conversation that we're revisiting, but matchups make fights, right? Right. If if they had took the performance part serious and, and, and locked in like, oh, we got to give it to these guys live, as opposed to the laid back right. stance that they took, like we're just going to play our jams, and, you know, we're gonna outbang them. Like, no, that's not how it happens. You gotta play the jams, but you gotta outperform them too. And I yeah. think if they had come with the performance element, like locked in, they would have had a better run than what happened that night. Well, yeah, man. I, I mean, think, just yeah. in my opinion, you're, you gotta take your opponent serious. You're one hundred percent right. You know what I mean? I think locks knew that they weren't fucking around. And right. the moment they hit that stage, yeah. like that's like yeah, like Dipset was you know they came on cool, you know what I mean? They're like they got this, like I right, we got, but then the locks just turned it up, super focused. Dipset was favored, and they were favored. Dip, yeah, dip, that's what I'm saying. Which thought. is crazy. I don't no, know. No, it's not. Crazy. No, because you know why they were favored, Cali Blazes, why? because of the hits. That's the what thing I'm about. They get more radio, play, right? More things. Like that. So that's what I'm saying. Like you cannot rest on that shit though. That's like everybody telling us, oh well, you know, you guys are gonna landslide Onyx because they don't have this and that in comparison to what you guys have and that may be true but if we were to come in and be like oh, yeah we got the catalog we're just gonna lock Psst, it ain't gonna be nothing away. we're gonna get you blown can. the fuck out like yep. that but if we come in and say yeah we got the catalog Word. yeah but we're gonna fucking bring the thunder with that fucking catalog because yeah. you know we're taking them so we got enough respect yeah. to know they're gonna come at us so we gotta come for <laughs> come for the head you know what I'm saying? And and uh, that's the difference, man. It's the energy you bring with those hits. If you don't bring the energy, they're going to smash you with less hits. Yeah. But because they got energy and they got that crowd built up. And Jada and all of them performed so well. Voice control. The oh, every, yeah. The fucking no screaming. No, no screaming. fucking crazy shit. Just like total professionalism and like showing the skill set. They took Jim Jones' shoe. Oh, word. that was crazy. You know what I mean? The, yeah. Whose hat? They pulled somebody's hat off, too. They took oh, Joel's man. hat. Joel's hat. Yeah, man. Well, they were getting feisty, man. They were, Dipset was starting to get a little It hurt upset. my feelings watching that. Well, yeah, Dipset man. was so legendary. Well, I my think, generation. I think yeah. there was that one point where, where P was fucking with Cam, and Cam kicks him off. Yeah, I think so. And that's, right. that's when it got real funny. <laughs> yeah. Not for nothing though, you guys like Dipset can fucking rap. Oh yeah, they're if you dope. go back to can, if you go back to like their Rap City, the Basement freestyles, or some of their stuff they did with Flex, they have bars. No, they like they, you're not wrong. Wild, you're not wrong, but they don't got bars like Sheik, Jada, and P. Real yeah. talk, those guys. They got hits over them. 
But bars, different story. That that's what I'm trying to argue. Some of those freestyle bars that they could not turn into hits, yeah. they would take to radio or to like Rap City or one of these shows. And they have, they, I'm talking about, they would go in there and rap their yeah. fucking ass off. Bro, they, listen, they got talent, they got hits, they got voices, they know what they're doing. But honestly, fucking the locks is one of the best to do it when it comes to that. They are real. Man, here's control. the thing, right? Here, here's the thing. It, 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 and I'll let Bobo go after. I said, like this, <laughs> right? <laughs> you got hits. Hit. And and the other the other guys got head chop songs that aren't necessarily hits, but in the in the realm of a live battle, those are the ones, those songs that aren't necessarily hits, can chop your fucking head they off. Sure can. You know what I mean? And that's that's the thing. And and this versus thing is a verse versus thing, right? Where it's 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 a battle, and a lot of our shit at Cypress Hill is written for stuff like this. Like I'm talking to you. Yep directly to you right now in this verse that's the cold part about cypress hill songs in a versus scenario like i could straight up talk to you yeah <laughs> well, thank you. Oh, i mean i didn't know how to respond to yeah. that the lord is in the building right now um <laughs> by the grace of god Hallelujah. um but god. yeah man it's it's yeah it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be be a good one. We what gotta I, ta take it serious. Gonna, what I was gonna say is that <clears throat> the locks, they had strong mixtape bangers. They did, and that's to Tons. the streets. The, what do you the mean? streets are hearing Tons. that. You know, the radio is one thing, but <coughs> they had strong mixtape bangers. Did. That's right, yeah. and that's exactly what Jada Kiss and yeah. them came out and S did, splashing them with that shit. And that's they right. they didn't know how to respond to that. I mean, what was Cameron gonna do? Say, hey, ma. You know yeah, what, I mean? yeah, what was he gonna that. do? You know what I mean? He can, you know. Hey, ma. Listen, <laughs> those fucking mixtapes are what made 50 50 was his right. mixtapes. Homie sold right. like the million copies in fucking Queens alone Dude. out there pushing fucking tapes. Lord, scoot to your right. There you go. A little bit more. There you go. We have DJ Lord. DJ Lord in the building. What up, world? What up? What up? What up? Hey, yo, I heard somebody <laughs> say something about some versus shit. And somebody about to get murked. You did. I heard that walking <laughs> in. Yeah. That is correct. Yeah. We were talking about statements that um, Fredro was making, and, you know, we sort of rebutted those statements. He is an actor, right? <laughs> well, oh, Correct. Shit. No, he's a rapper. Come on. Oh, he is. Yeah. But he is an actor, too. Oh, yeah. No. He yeah. acting like they're going to win. Eat, like they <laughs> 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 <Eat>, motherfucker. Eat. <laughs> Eat. They tripping. See you at the crossroads. They tripping. <laughs> uh, I don't know why they tripping, and, baby. And he was a, he was a, a dance game show host, too. Oh. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, Pedro, you know, Dance 360. But that has nothing to do with any of this. Right. No, I, I mean, know, I don't I know, know why you're bringing any of that shit up. <laughs> it does, just, it's just got to say it, just to talk shit. What? All just, right. Just, just to level. I hear you. Dance 360. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> Tag your man. Yeah. Tag your man. <laughs> <laughs> Tag your man. That's fucked up. Who is that Eat, Tag your motherfucker. <laughs> Let's just say that night we will be more than ready. Word. Word. We will be so readily ready ready that we're gonna have the mantle that for the two heads word that we bring home word waiting y you know what i'm saying and we're gonna say you guys wanted this ah you guys wanted this. That's right, and it's gonna be fun, man. You guys, and it's gonna be <laughs> fun. Well, because you gotta be careful what you ask for, right? Like, you know, the, as 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 artists in this hip hop game, and we know that verses is a is a huge fucking thing right now. Every fucking question from someone that's tuned into that, like, so if you get a journalist or someone that's completely tuned into that, they're gonna be. So, what do you think of this verses, and who would uh, who would be the um? The guys you'd like to go up against, or who do you see? You know, like uh, my my answer was always Wu Tang or Cube. Yeah, you know what I mean. But I guess when they asked Fredro on Vlad, when Vlad asked him, you know, he threw our name out there, and we <laughs> it kindly accepted challenge. You know what right. I'm saying? From our bros, let's go. Let's give the people a show. Word. You know what I'm saying. And to be honest, I didn't think that we would be doing the verses. Me neither. 
I to did, be honest, I did. because I did. because I knew that the, the, because my feeling was that the guys that we want to do it with won't do it either. You know what I'm saying? Um, because maybe they don't feel the need to. You know what I'm saying? Like, but for the sake of competition and and giving the crowd something different, yeah, I would have totally went up because Cube is my bro. Like, we, obviously, we had our shit in the past, but we've mended that and we're fucking mad cool now. And that would just be a great show for people. And the Wu Tang, I mean, it's the fucking Wu Tang. Right. It would be fucking enormous. But, yeah. you know, those things didn't happen. You know what I mean? So when, when Fredro brought up our name in that one, that just sort of rung bells for certain people and they hit us up like, hey, would you be down? And I'm like, well, it's a challenge. How can I not be down? Right. It's practically a challenge. Because it's the what if. It wasn't like, we want to go against, we'll, uh, it wasn't like that. It wasn't like an oversale. It was, you know. Right. Or maybe it kind of was, I don't know. Not but anything. either way, it got someone's attention. And then it came to us, and we're like, well, fuck yeah, if we're challenged, let's go. Yeah, and he was kind of explaining, too, why he wanted to do it. He felt that. The energy. The energy. He was like, the songs we have, we've had people moshing at our shit. You know, they do. It's like, it's that same live fucking heavy fucking energy. Oh, and he's absolutely know? right. He, is, he, yep. is. he didn't. He is. That, that's all facts. There's yep. no there's no cap in that. You yep. know what I'm saying? And uh, so I think people are going to be treated. You know what yeah, I'm saying? me too. They're going to get. Some people are going to get treated, and others are going to get the treatment. <laughs> <laughs> It is I mean, what it is. Some will get treated, some will get defeated. <laughs> all right, it's no, gonna be fun. that's a bar too. It's, it's gonna be fun. Man. It's gonna. It's. I think we're all gonna have fun. It's gonna be good for the culture. And then we're all gonna smoke a lot of weed after. Right. So, so, Lord, I have a question. You know, on versus how they do the DJs beforehand, like you, I'm assuming it'd be you versus their DJ. You're gonna serve. To him as well, right? <laughs> Why are you asking? No, I just wanted to address it. Like we have him here. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Because that's always a big part of the Instagram or the YouTube live. However, you watch versus the two DJs from both representatives go up there. And <coughs> they, you know, they'll go back and forth, and it's usually oh. some, some body bagging going down too. Oh, they're, they're not no. ready for DJ Lord. No. Unless I want to know who they're bringing for that, because. Bring whoever you want. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter who they're bringing. It's a DMC champ. You're it doesn't get matter. Body bag. Because real turntablism also is going to get, you know. Well, see, that's uh, the thing that's a part of right. our show that is not a part of a lot of shows is the turntablism. Yep. You know, I know Red and Meth do it, and uh, and a few others, but we really do it. And if that's a part of the fucking component, it's on. I mean, I think, I think. like if they don't have that ready, that's gonna be one part they get murked in, because we're rip. always ready for that. Off the rip, yeah. So hey. like, it just depends on how this goes. You saw the DJ advantage work for the locks as well. Yeah, Hell it yeah. did. Oh, we. Yeah. It did. Yeah. He knew how to read the crowd too. Yeah, yep. we're about to fucking um, we're about to flip it. It's all good. Uh, salute to our sponsor, CBD Lion. Some of the best CBDs in game. <laughs> Alright, if you need CBDs or you know someone who needs CBDs, you can introduce them to these. Go to CBDLine.com, check the menu. They got Delta 8 and 9 products, CBD gummies, edibles, tinctures, topicals, hemp flower, CBD broad spectrum capsules, CBD isolate products, broad and full spectrum products, and bundles and combo packs, pet tinctures and treats. Yes, even for your pets. Damn. Now I'm saying, um, go to CBD Lion and try some of these bath bombs if you be about bathing, B. <laughs> it's the business. Mm. I right, don't be a bitch <laughs> or a bastard oh. or a ah. buffoon. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Believe that. Oh. <laughs> Son Doobie's at home. He hears it somehow. Oh, he's fucking, it's beating him up in the <laughs> eardrum right now. Stop it. Uh, stop, please stop. Stop, please, stop oh, Go to cbdline.com. I love you, use, you Use coupon code B real. Oh. And, uh, you know, get yourself a <laughs> discount on that purchase. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Oh. Don't be bullshit. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, oh, we got beef. Damn. <laughs> so... Yeah, salute to CBD line. Kick it, the motherfucker. Mm, Rawr. Yes. Rawr. 
Hey, man, I had a chance to go check out our, our um, because I hadn't been there since we started building it yet, building it up, but our, the upcoming LAX shop. Oh, we're... Um, people oh, are cool. going to love this shit. I got to tell you, if you dig Silmar, and I know you do, if you dig LA, and I know you do, and Cathedral City and San Diego, if you like San Diego. San Diego. I like this, this, I like the inside. I like all the pics oh, and everything. It's set up so dope. This LAX shit, the business. Saturday, yeah. Saturday, Saturday. We April sixteenth, and we will be there. That's, <sighs> That's right. Green thumbs, LAX grand opening. That's right. Come pop it off with us. All right, we're gonna be down there. Um, we're gonna have the gas, the flavors. We're gonna have some insane gear, some Dr. Green Thumb shit down there. Um, Funky Phil tips and mad fucking gas in the bags, yo. And that Cali Blaze Rosin will be there. Mm-hmm. What's time? locked up? What's and, time? and and bots will be in the house. Yep. He's actually gonna be in the house today. Oh Jesus. Sando. Oh Jesus. So y'all wanna smoke? Bart's barbecue in house today. Oh word. Bots. I didn't tell Bobo I wanted it to be a surprise, but knowing Dustin, he called Bobo before me. <laughs> <laughs> Salute to Dro all Because right. he feels pressured by all that. Hey, when I see you, I want to see food. <laughs> Damn, you really did tell him that. Yeah, though. Bobo. I, I don't really know what's happening oh, over here. I just, fucking... I just saw him. I said, yo, I didn't bring nothing. I'm like, what did you just say to me? <laughs> 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 Excuse me? You know he's bigger than you, right? <laughs> I, 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 you know, bye, <laughs> okay. A little bit. I want them ribs, yo. No, Gary. <laughs> no, Gary. <laughs> I feel you, man. I want the brisket. <laughs> he's the fucking you know, brisket king, is, man. man. <laughs> Salute Damn. to the brisket king, man. For true. For real. Um, I don't know um, what Aton is, is thinking and challenge him <laughs> to a food off of any sort. Spaghetti. What? Anything it shouldn't do. He said it. it's going to be fun. But it's expanded it's for it's, the Bobo it's gonna, bag. It's a win for all of us, though, because we get to eat like champions. You know what I'm saying? Bring okay. Tupperware. What's this? Oh, that's a good Bring Tupperware, good point. yes. Yeah, definitely bring And look, Tupperware. if you bring Tupperware, don't leave it here. Take <laughs> it home. It's true. Don't leave your dirty ass Tupperware down here, E Zone. Take true. it home. Clean it. <laughs> true. Everyone, you bring Tupperware, you take home. Clean it. <laughs> you take home. You use the thing to clean. <laughs> Swear to God, B. <laughs> Dead ass, B. Yeah. There's nothing worse than seeing a fucked up Tupperware and your shit that <laughs> someone just left around. Like, <laughs> oh, mine. I, I, I throw them out. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I know it costs them money, but it's like, yo, hey, if you're going to leave this here, like a couple, <laughs> even a day. That shit is out of here. You know, the, the thing that was saved in there starts to mutate into something else. Yeah, we don't want that shit in here. You <laughs> start saying, like, shit, I, hey, why is it all hairy? It's a clearance. That's what I call it. Yeah. It's Yo. there more than a day. It's getting cleared. Because yeah. I ain't cleaning your shit, and I ain't keeping it. You need to set a fucking rule in here. There is no heating up of fish. Whoever did it the Ooh. other day, and that's day old. Somebody like, heated up fish? Oh, God. The day really? before. Could fill the fish. Are you too. fucking kidding me? Oh, oh. Violation. It was all... And then... Uh, <laughs> he said... Second, <laughs> yeah, that second day fish getting reheated. Here? Oh, well, I don't remember. No. Oh, I wasn't here. Oh, listen. It's stained in my head hey, my nostrils. So this was... It went this, down. Was this on Thursday or Friday? I think Friday. Okay, see, I wasn't here. I, was, I did not encounter it. such a thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. no. It well, was who here. was here? I will find out who did it. I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Who ate I fish? Remember. The only person I would I would assume would be Rara. It but could have been. No. Rara, Rara, did you do that? <laughs> oh, <hold> up, yeah. <laughs> he said, "Mike, me up, go." It was not me, but what's wrong with fish? Yeah, there's man? no. Yeah, he eating up eats fish that. in here makes it's the Friday. place smell like a horror. What do you mean? Well, <laughs> it, de- it depends on. <laughs> listen, it depends on the fish. If it's a real fishy type, yeah. like salty yeah. style fishy, fish, fishy, fishy. Um, yes, the smell <laughs> of that shit when it's heated up in a microwave or whatever is fucking. Fucked up. <laughs> so real. Smells like wolf. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> like but wolf there's, pussy. but there's nothing wrong with fish. <laughs> right. Wolf nothing pussy wrong. over there. <laughs> nothing <laughs> wrong. With oh, wolf pussy. <laughs> Man. I love fishing. So you got that close, Poppy. Yeah, <laughs> 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 <It's a> th- <laughs> <laughs> Watch out. Uh, I missed up. Uh, <laughs> missed up. Uh, I can make you boo 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 oh, boo boo. 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 Boo, 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 boo. Well done. Yeah, no. <laughs> it better be. You did it raw. Boo, 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 boo,
thank you. Can you boo, boo, boo? <laughs> oh, Can you boo, <laughs> boo, boo? <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> you sure can. Eat the wrong catering before a show. You're going boo, boo, oh, boo, boo. Oh, boo. Oh, right. oh shit. That's <laughs> right, man. Right. Yeah, you even said that, uh, B, you said that at the, the catering, like, you know, before we left to go to Charlotte, you're like, yo, man, I want to be easy on that because uh, you don't you don't want you know, you want to get them guts. You, you know don't want I mean? them bubble guts, buddy. You know, <laughs> not, yeah. not on the show. No, nope. not feed the show, man. You don't want that on the show, on the bus, on none of that. <laughs> none of that shit. Yeah, because you become an instant internet sensation in the wrong way. There is a smell. It smells like a shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, That's right, it stinks! It does. <laughs> Matt, you don't want that happening. Someone shitting their pants on stage by... You want sheet least? You want sheet least? That's real sheet least, man. Oh, Super man. Sheet least. That's right, dude. That's right, it stinks! No. <laughs> and you don't boo-boo on the bus. No. No, no there's no shitting on the bus. There's no shitting on the bus. No, no number two. But I re do remember, and this person will remain nameless, uh, <laughs> actually did the boo-boo on the bus <coughs> and it says yo uh, i didn't know i oh. didn't know you know and yeah i know it's, it's yeah, a that's, little rough yes yes taxation and fines happen with this no. or even getting kicked off off of a crew now um, now I, I do have an example the drummer from pe used to drum for dmx and he made an announcement on the bus nobody shit on the bus but me all right he was the only one allowed to shit on Why was so he allowed to shit on it was his fucking bus. Okay. That's what he said. Oh, That's right. It's, it was his bus. It's not P.E.'s bus. It's his DMX's bus. bus. Oh, it's okay. DMX's bus. He's the drum for DMX. Oh, the drummer the for drummer, DMX. Okay. Right. Told us the whole deal. And he, said, <laughs> and he said, in all this DMX glory, hey, anybody shit on the bus for me, all right? And it was like, all right. Makes sense. Wow. Hey, but. You know, like you, you rest, make rest everybody you uh, you make everybody, including yourself, suffer the rest of that ride if you do that shit. Word. What some motherfuckers do is they'll put a bag in that toilet, and then make their security guy go fucking take it out. Are you, if need be. Holy shit! Are you holy shit that? is correct. Are you, are you Imagine that, that was your job, Cairo. No, no, <laughs> no. I'm, I'm off that. Shit, man. I, I, I'm, I'm buying my flight back home. Or you're like, you know, depending on the time of night, you know, you may, you know. You may what? Throw it out of the window. You know, oh, with, out of the bag. Oh, you know? oh no, there, no, 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 no. Not, not these buses these days. You ain't throwing no, a No, not bag these up. days. No. The old school shit, I've heard. Possibly, yes. I mean, yeah, just, middle of nowhere, Frank. Hey, we well, never did that. We fucking always told the driver, hey, go to the next fucking stop. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't want not to desecrate our bus. Word. I'll tell you one time, though, <laughs> Muggs dropped a bomb on a bus <laughs> as payback to the driver, oh. right? It was our last day. We had gotten all our shit off the bus. It was the last day of tour. We were going, like, everybody was going home. And the driver had been a cunt yeah. to everybody the last two weeks. He True just, that. he was, he was cool. And then all of a sudden, he got fucking real uptight. And Muggs, Muggs is not somebody you fucking try to tell. So, like, if Muggs is paying you, he ain't allowing you to say anything to him, just like <laughs> I wouldn't. Hell yeah. Right? Like, we're we're paying you, motherfucker. You ain't doing us a favor. We pay your bus company that pays you from the money we paid. So, like, we don't need your fucking attitude, right? So that, that was his, that was his, uh, in his head. We don't need your attitude. We pay you, motherfucker. You know, don't, don't be telling us what's what and you know he he the driver just kept acting like a fucking cunt so the last day we all get our shit off mugs waits till we all get everything off he gets his stuff off and while the bus driver is fucking i don't know what he was doing he, he walks off for a minute he's probably glad to have us the fuck off the bus at this point and this is a dude we knew we were cool with in the beginning like for years and then <laughs> this year he just had it turned into something different. Hmm. 
And so while he was gone, Mug slipped into the fucking bathroom, plopped a couple out, <laughs> left it in there, boom, out. What <laughs> uh, homeboy must have got like, you know, just outside of the city before it started sloshing around and he could smell it. Like, what the fuck? Cause then he has to go dump that. Right. <laughs> Mugs, left, <laughs> Mugs left him the gift of gifts. Oh. The gift that they kept giving. He gave him. He, he, <laughs> yeah, he gave but, him a Cyrus Holloway. If, oh. if 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 the driver had been cool, he would never have done that. Damn. But that was to like, this is for all the shit you gave us the last two fucking weeks, and we pay you. Here you go, bam! This is a fucking bonus for you. Here's some shit for you. Here's hey, some shit for you. <laughs> Spe- speaking hey. of shitty bus, do you remember the Dave Matthews Band Chicago incident? What was no. that? Oh. oh, yeah, I do. I totally do. <laughs> what was dude. it? So this dude, he's on tour, and, you know, he's like a, um, he's an environmentalist. He's about green and, and, and responsibility and all that shit, and his bus was rolling. I can't remember. What was the city? Um, in Chicago, I in think. Chicago, and he rolled to one spot, and they dumped all the oh. shit out their bus in a spot that was not cool at all. There was like, I think people on a boat tour underneath yeah. going that like it got on like, oh, like <laughs> there was like a class action suit. It was That's foul, man. Like yeah, all yeah. the urine and excrement dumping oh. down like rain. There you go. 800, 800 pounds, almost a half a oh, ton poop. of shit. <laughs> oh pounds, my God. Damn. Of shit. 800, <laughs> 800 pounds. <laughs> what are these that motherfuckers that eating? That's oh, a oh, shit. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Fucking Time out. <laughs> you want oh, shit, Lee? I'm like, I'm stupefied right now. <laughs> I do because yo, how does Dave Matthews let anyone shit on the bus, let alone have 800 pounds, pounds of shit? Of shit. <laughs> That's a lot of shit. Man. Sure is, man. I mean, That's y'all don't got no fucking rules. Is it like, oh, well, you know, listen, it's a toilet. It's meant to be shit on, and, you know, we're okay with it because it comes from... No. no. 800 oh, pounds. Shit. Now, that's some shit. Like, I, ain't, I ain't touring <laughs> with them. Pack crash- of gorillas or something. Hey. Oh, my God, no. That's crazy. Hey, crash into you for real. Shit. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> Damn. I mean, that is an unspoken rule on touring that you do not shit on the tour bus. Yeah. How do they have like eight hundred pounds? Wow! Oh, yeah, just, just Dave remember. Matthews and the Gorillas. Just I would have never have been in his band, dog. I would. Have, oh, oh no. let me go on the crew bus because I know they're not shitting on the crew bus. Oh, no. Damn, yeah, just dude. remember, if you get that invitation, <laughs> or maybe it's the crew the bus. bus they were shitting on and not the band bus. Oh, no, who that knows? Straight band. Who knows? And, and I'm, or maybe both. Buses lined up and they dumped at the same time, that's and that's why it was eight. shitting hey. is okay here. Hey, but how do they just figure like? Why are we talking about shit? At oh, the yeah. t- but hold on, why do they just figure at the time like, okay, this is the perfect time to dump this shit over this bridge where there just possibly might be a <laughs> river cruise underneath <laughs> of like wow people. Yeah, he got are- <laughs> hey, he got a lot of shit for that. Oh, <laughs> what a <laughs> shitty, what a shitty deal. That was a shitty. Experience <laughs> for some. <laughs> Wait, hold on. There you go. Smoke. Worst cruise ever. Man, there was no even warning. Hey. At least you know. There she blows. <laughs> Let uh, hey, if Let I'm rain. If, if I'm on that boat. <laughs> he would teleport. Hey. He would teleport up. To Yo, I, I, I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> oh summons. man. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody lawsuited him for that shit. You have yeah, to be. They totally did. To. Yeah. Big had time. To. I think they won. The they, they had, had to have to won. won. Someone had to throw hands. Yeah, dude. That's like getting sprayed with like. I, I'm buying stunk. tickets to his show. <laughs> I mean, then I'm waiting out back. Meet and, meet and greet. <laughs> meet and greet. I'm paying VIP meet and greet. And when the Bro. meet and greet happens, I'm going to take it from the security, <laughs> but I'm getting mine before. Hey, yeah. Backs. Uh, bruh. <laughs> Knock them out and then piss on them. How does this feel? <laughs> That's the way I felt when you dumped on my boat, mother. Uh, <laughs> I'm a shit in the and audience. And then have someone come shit on his chest. <laughs> Give oh, him a hot wow. car, Carl, real quick. Hey, look, shit on his chest. 800. Bro, never forget. <laughs> look at that. That's Yo, the that's location. A, that's <laughs> a monument. <laughs> ah. That's a fucking. Never forget. I fuck with Always Dave remember. Matthews, though, man. I can't. I no, can't. No, he's got some. He's, he's got yeah. some tunes. He's cool. I'm just fucking around here because it's funny as hell. But oh. it's not funny if you were the one getting pissed or shit on. That's a shitty thing to happen. And yeah. it probably it probably wasn't even him that was doing it. It's the fucking bus driver. Bus that, driver. Yeah. yeah. Bus driver. Uh, y- yeah, but you know the bus driver goes by the instruction of the tour manager. Oh, so okay. let like let me give you an example, and please no one interrupt. Um, 
if we're rolling, right? And the 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 toilet smells funky, and we've gone through this. Bobo and I, and you know our crew, we've gone through. Hey man, the toilet is funky. <laughs> what the fuck, right? We know no one's shitting it. Why is it so funky? So what happens is all the urine. If if the driver doesn't dump it on the first day and it stays there two two days or something like that, it has a shit type of smell, and it smells horrible. So we'll tell our tour manager, hey, tell him to find a spot. Pull over and dump this shit real quick because this shit smells horribly bad. <laughs> and that's probably what was happening on the Dave Matthews bus. Like, hey, man, what the fuck? Have you not dumped the, you know, have you not done the dump yet? Dude. And the, the tour manager probably got on the driver and the driver just pulled over where he could, uh, dumped it, the, and that was think, it. Think of what you said. You said pee in two days. They had eight Hundred right over. Shit. No, no, no. They probably exactly. Said exactly that. Pull the fuck over right. now. Right now. It had, it had yeah. got to eight hundred pounds. That's almost a ton. Oh. Half a ton. Can you just imagine though the bus is wrapped with Dave Matthews' face? Uh, and it's just I like, just want to know what the excuse was. There's no excuse. Hey, no. They should wrap the shit. bus like a big piece of shit, and it rolls. Oh, <laughs> shitty timing. The shit, the shit bus. The, shit, <laughs> the catering. <laughs> the catering. Oh, hey, no, I gotta tell cool. you that that bus probably smelled decrepit. Oh, good. Like Lord. for for uh, like even after they, after they fucking let it go, it probably smelled horrible for at least a couple days. If it was just it stewing in there go. for that long, eight hundred pounds. <laughs> fuck. Imagine in the bunk area. Oh, you know, oh. trying to sleep. Oh, oh. inhale. In, in that. Oh. This inhale. shit. Hey, listen. This shit has gone too far. Yep. Let's let's change subject. Ah, shitty. <laughs> boo boo boo. Hey, hey boo boo. No more boo boo. Hey boo boo. Hey boo boo. Be real. Be real was actually right on something though with that. It says right here the band's tour manager. Oh. Or tour driver admitted dumping the reportedly dumping and paid a fine for it. Served one and a half years probation. Yep. That's some heavy shit. Okay, what that means, <laughs> let me tell you what that means, is that the tour manager took it on the chin for the band. He didn't let the driver go down for it because the driver was just doing what he was told, but yep. it is a part of his job. But the drivers know where they can dump and where they're not supposed to dump. Yeah. And if the fucking tour manager is on your ass, like, hey, I don't give a fuck where you got to go. Do it now. Yeah. Because this shit smells horrible. <laughs> right? But it's about accountability. Your band did that, buddy. Not the driver. <laughs> Tell your band not to shit on the bus. I mean, that'd be the first. <laughs> and then you won't have this decrepit smell. I mean... There is a smell. Oh. It smells like a shit. That's right. It stinks! <laughs> shit <laughs> on a Shit on a <laughs> Here you go. Dang. For Dave Matthews' bus. <laughs> there is a smell. Cut it, it up, Dave. Like shit. Cut it up, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you know. Dave sees this. He's going to be like, you fuckers. That was no, all. You fucker. That was all water under the bridge. Uh huh. <laughs> wow. Shit under the not bridge. Not clear. <laughs> <laughs> not clear water. Uh, not clear water. water. <laughs> was, <laughs> was not clear. <laughs> Uh, CC. I guess that bus was running fine. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh my god. Inappropriate. Hey, hey, salute to Big Daddy Kane. Word. Yes. Um he was he was uh rocking the stage with us down there in North Carolina, Wilmington. Um and he did his thing. Hell yeah. Big Daddy. He had a band too. He had a band. He's coming with it, man. Legendary. Yeah, still. Daddy Kane, bro. Hey man. I fucks with Kane. I mean, he was one he was a big, big part of our, you know, coming up in terms of the shit we were studying and listening to. He was one of them, man. Like he was big, big fucking influence. Yeah, Kane. Yeah, Kane. Yeah, Kane. Warm it up, Kane. Right, the Kane. Like Sun Doobie. That he was a big influence on Sun Doobie. Like Sun Doobie's first style. Before he flipped to 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 what he's known as now, um, was was more like a Big Daddy Kane style. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Muggs told me a story this this weekend that <laughs> kind of blew my mind and made me laugh. I'll tell you guys off the air. Oh, oh I like that. <laughs> I can't tell y'all that because then 
you might look at somebody kind of weird <laughs> and we don't want to do our brothers like that so i'm not going to tell y'all the story i'm so sorry yeah but if you were to get the donation up today to a that no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, i would totally tell this no. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you off air though Got it was him. it was mad interesting okay it was mad interesting and enlightening interesting is key word huh? yeah when he said it he was like when he was telling me the story he was blown away by it in itself himself telling me the story whoa and i was like no fucking way and he was like that's what i fucking said no fucking way <laughs> i'm sorry to be you know now we want pumping go. this up if on you inquiring and I'm not, mind i'm not gonna tell you but yeah Discord exclusive. It was a it was a good story. I don't know if Bobo was paying attention to it, but uh, yeah, I tried to try not to, but I couldn't help it. You know which one I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Yes, man. Yeah. yeah. Yes, man. Peace to one of our bros who just you know sometimes <laughs> sometimes you know he would just be saying some off the wall shit. It happens. Oh. Yeah. oh. Word. <laughs> yeah, well, you'll, you'll know it soon enough. To I want to know now. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know right now. Wow. Mm. He's been here. Oh. <laughs> the Godfather's in here, and he says, "I want to hear it." <laughs> I'll Facetime you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. It was good. Took me by surprise. Wow. But then again, it didn't. But I, it was. It was. <laughs> it was just funny to hear it. I'll let you know. I know you guys are in. Fuck, I want to know what this is. Dude. Fuck. We want to know what this is. Speaking of trip, did you see the thing about Kid Creole? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, that shit. That shit the, 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 and the even trippier part of that is they were using Special K's picture on some of the uh, fucking shit. Positive. Yeah, positive. Oh, positive yeah, K. Yeah. yeah, sorry. Positive okay. K, not Special K. That was crazy. That was nuts. It's like they got this fucking story of Kid Creole. You know, you know these, these stabs uh, a homeless guy. Yeah, but we no one knows the reason why yet. That part of the story, at least I haven't seen that part. Mm -hmm. um, but they got positive K's picture up there. Ah, oh, that's so bad. It was bad. <clears throat> that's not cool. Did anybody has that story come out yet? Like his his reasoning for the stabbing. Everyone keeps saying self de self self defense. defense. He's saying self defense. He had words with the guy <clears throat> and um. Well, yeah, one of the rumors was is that he thought Kid Creole thought the guy was coming on to him. Yeah, that's the word. Yeah. Mm. Is that and so, so is that is that self defense though? Like coming on to him how though? Like aggressive coming on. Oh, I see. He's, he's walking through New York and there's like a homeless guy out there acting brolic, you know? Well, all oh, right, right. Bro also thought he was coming on to him in another way too. Gay that's what I was saying. Yeah. Yeah. Bro brolicky gay. Yeah. See, now that, that when you add you that to the gay. when you add that to the component <laughs> that doesn't add Why that, are you gay? that doesn't add up to to um assault. The, Right. Mm. You know what I'm no, saying? It's, it's fucked yeah. up either way it goes. It's fucked up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I, well, I guess we'll eventually learn the whole fucking shit when it comes out. But, um, hey, man, um, strength and positivity to Kate, Kane Vasquez. You know what I'm saying? He's still yeah. in there. He's still locked up for that shit? Yeah. He did what... I, it's, no, I mean, man. hey, listen, not saying I it's right what he did, but a lot of motherfuckers in the in the heat of, of like, I you're did. out of your mind when you hear some shit like that. Right. You know, you, you, you sort of understand that. But it's the way he did it that, that um, obviously got him in the situation that he's in, man. And uh, but but we we down here understand why. <laughs> of course. And, you know, we're fans of, of Kane and, and uh Positivity and prayers to him, man. Hell yeah. yeah that dynamite in his hands. He's got bro. those dynamite hands mm. too. Yeah. Um But all that being said, man, it's 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 hard to keep your yourself composed when it's it's directly a family member that's affected by something this someone else ha has done to them in, in whatever fucking way. You you get emotional real fast. And yeah. I think everybody has that sympathy for him, which they should, because if you put yourself in his situation, you can understand, but the only place he went wrong was shooting into you know and hurting shooting someone else not involved so that's the only thing that i hate to say look you're gonna charge him with something charge him with that reckless endangerment or what he did there because mm -hmm. that's wrong like he should have directed it only at that person waited for the right time and i know what you mean you're out of your mind you're, you're out of your thinking. mind you're right you're not thinking but 
If that, you shot my family member trying to shoot somebody else, now it's like, hey, man, you just fucked my family up and did shit, you know, trying to avenge. Yeah. Got to do that a little more skillfully, but I know what you mean. You're out of your fucking mind. You're not even thinking. Right. But that's the sad part, because if you didn't do that, then the whole world would black him, you know, because yeah. get him the fuck out of there, man. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. Cosign. Pardon him. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think they should still free him. Just he might catch a charge for doing for that type of shit, mm -hmm. which in all, in all reality he should, you know. I yeah. I hope so. Yeah, I hope that's all it is yeah. for sure. Yeah, it's it it all the more reason that we tell you, right, stay composed and stay with love. You know what I'm saying? Uh don't let that anger or any of that energy put you in a compromising position like that. It's just like they say in in in, in um books of strategy, right? Like let's just say in the art of war or even um forty eight laws of power and books of this this kind, right? You don't make decisions while you're angry. Yeah. Because that'll be your number one downfall. Making decisions of any kind when you're emotionally compromised. True. Because in the heat of something, you might do something to somebody or yourself. Yeah. Or both. So, you know, hey, listen, stay with calm all right you know think things out because there's a lot of people in life we know friends family and obviously enemies and people we don't fuck with that are quick to try to push your buttons so that you'll fucking get angry and make a mistake somewhere that yeah. they could capitalize on Word. you know what i mean or you know it doesn't even have to be that it's just life you know what i mean strategically you don't want to fuck yourself up in life so make you know don't make crazy decisions when you're when you're angry wait wait till you've had time to think and calm the fuck down just walk away yeah yeah that's best bet always I mean, yeah it is difficult but it's yeah difficult. It's, it's true yeah it would have been hard for me for sure if that if it was me in his shoes it's same thing like i, I would fact man i don't look of course it's hard to say anything because you're not in that person's shoes you just imagine but if you're a fucking hot tempered, heated up motherfucker, you better have a good support system around you to talk you out of doing some dumb shit. Cause that's what it is. No one was able to, you know, talk to him and talk him out of it and saying, we're gonna let the, the fucking law handle this. You right. know what I'm saying? But um, it is what it is, man. So just as a lesson, well. make make uh decisions when you're calm and after you've had a chance to settle down no matter what the fuck it is because it could be life or death or your freedom true it's the same true and now let's get on with this of submissions and we got america's most wanted up in here smoking and having a beer that's Woo! right got right. that cbdx right there that's some good shit true true cbx CB. that's not cbd oh sorry CBDX. cbx sorry yeah cannabiotics yeah wow. Kush. Kush. get yourself some insane yes. flavors or dr green thumbs flower and add it to that collection true that yep here you go lord i see you're lonely <laughs> <laughs> i can't i can't i can't read i can't can't and I don't think you guys are ready for these next few submissions. Bar barbecue, a oh. few pop-ups I went to. <coughs> right here, some barbecue bourbon smash burgers from what? Bob's Burgers. Damn. Ah! <laughs> That's us just getting bombed out right now from... That food is for the win, dude. <laughs> yes, for the win. All day. Oh, look at them fall. Oh. Boy. <laughs> mm. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Mm. And right here is a breakfast dreams Smokey Jones collaboration of a breakfast sandwich. Oh, wow, mm. it's like that's Strong. for breakfast, huh? You motherfucker, <laughs> putting you back to bed. God Word damn it! <laughs> yeah, it put you back to bed, boy. Give me that. Uh, yeah, what a, what a yeah, baby. Are we? 
Oh man, I was struggling yesterday. Oh, look at I'll just oh. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Damn, C minus oh. needs tissue. That cheese needs to be more melted. Just had an orgasm yeah, right there. Sure. Oh. It's probably on the way. It's on its way to being melted. Yeah, it's you on can its tell. way, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> this, hey, listen, this ain't no Tommy's Burgers, Ray. No. <laughs> <laughs> he is so a- what? <laughs> <laughs> he is a food critic, though, Mr. High and Hungry right here. <laughs> I've criticized plenty of foods. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And he's got this right here, Bruh. El Amigo Ooh. Tacos. That's strong. That looks that good. Is that is strong. Ooh, boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is impressive. Strong right. contender. Ah. Right. Very strong he contender. It. He totally murdered it. Wow. Mm. Mm, that looks so good. All that. Please. Yeah. Oh. Oh. We got some Korean barbecue tacos. Oh. Oh. Korean yeah. barbecue oh, tacos. Okay. Look at the pepper. Okay. I fucks with that. I would try that. All right. Oh, about all got that. you, gang. All right. Gotcha, gang. I think we it, actually shot a high and hungry. Hey, we with did shoot a high and hungry there. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. Shout out to them. Yeah, yeah, thanks for holding out, guys. Fucking great. <laughs> it was a while back too. Next. He sent in a few heritage barbecue. Oh. Oh. oh we've been down there. Oh yes. Oh. All right, you, you you should you know like submit some of these things to the Dr. Green Thumb show. Yeah. <laughs> we've been we went to that one. Yeah, okay. We're trying to get them over here. See. <laughs> okay. You just stay high and hungry right now. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna eat in a little bit though, so Guilty. we won't be so hungry. We'll Guilty. just be high. Guilty. Guilty is charged. Yeah. Stop saying. That's you know, that's the great thing about the show you guys do with, with high and hungry is that you guys get to fucking um come across these great fucking, you know, little spots that like are the amazing. business. Oh, it's you know amazing. What I mean? Yeah. It's amazing. So yeah, the, some some of the shit you guys come through is just <laughs> on the one. I I I don't think there's been one that's been whack. Yes. That I that I know of. Mm. We do our best. Yes, absolutely. I think I think me and Ezone talked about it one time. We were like, "What was our least favorite one?" And it was, I think we both said which one it was, but we'll save that for another. Right. That's a convert. That's a different show. Yeah, that's another one. But mixed. And Bart's Barbecue sent this in, some Smokey Jones Barbecue. Oh! Yes, of course you did. Of co- Dude, is that a chili dog? Damn. Yeah, that's a pastrami dog. Pastrami. It's a glizzy. Oh. Yeah, oh, a fucking pastrami dog. Dude, Fuck yes. out of here. Are you getting the shivers up there? Cold as ice. It's cold. Cold. And he sent this in, too. Oh! A little bit dry oh. tip oh. mac and cheese God smash damn it. burger. Oh, what? my God. Oh, awesome yeah. barbecue. Yes, that's please. crazy. What's going on? To go. What the oh. fuck? I want yes. that. Yes, please. What is this? Go. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> what do you mean? Dangerous. What's been a good weekend for Bart's? Fucking oh, A, man. man. He's working, man. Hey, Salute. Excellent. Salute to our bro, Dustin. Yes. Dustin. And the squad. We love you, Dustin. They be working hard. Word. And we got Callie Blaze up in here. Uh, a little yeah. shrimp scampi. That's right. Yeah. Scampi. Nice. That shit is yeah. fire right there, man. Yeah, yeah I yeah, fucks with that. that. Sorry, C minus. It's all good. Love, I love this. Just, I'll enjoy like it. murder. I'll enjoy it for you. I love oh, this yeah. one. Thank you. I'll I'll appreciate take, that. I'll take your portion. Thank you. No, no, Bobo. Enjoy. You stepped the fuck off oh, his portion. I, I got his hey, portion. He did. he did call it. For I you. just called it. You stepped the fuck off his portion. <laughs> I'm going to take some of your portion. You ain't taking nothing. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. You're going to eat your cornbread? <laughs> but treat you like Fredro, son. <laughs> The versus battle, who's got the best snacks? Bobo in the corner. Well, he's the only one with snacks. <laughs> yeah, Word. dude. Hey, snacks right here, man. He just grips them and then brings them up here. <laughs> grips he grips them. them. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking crack the talons, yo. <laughs> Release the talons. Release the talons. You no, know, shit, eat. Part of, the, like- uh, part of the versus battle should be who has the best catering service. Who has the uh, best mascot? Uh, <laughs> we got snacks, bro. Yeah, snacks, B. Snacks. And we got Chalico up in here, some grilled chicken. All right, some that's healthy oh, right yeah, there. Into that. that. Nice and clean. Really small portion. Small, nice portion right there. Uh, right. Wow. All right. It's a white plate. <laughs> On a white plate. Nice day for a white, white, white plate. wedding. And Chief Token Up said him and the wife ran away to Bogosa Springs in Colorado. Oh, all right. I've heard of this place. Bogosa. Bogosa. <laughs> it was beautiful. We said so- they saw snacks as Tia and Tio. <coughs> <coughs> they like, wow. They're not related. <laughs> no, no. They, they, they don't crazy. get along. They don't yep. get along at all. 
<laughs> They're not really. I'm always drinking. Look at the waves right there, Damn. buddy. This fucking shit is moving over there. Or the current. The cabana. Take me away. <laughs> Next. And we got Damien up in here saying went to Legoland over the weekend. Oh, wow. Wow, that's fucking crazy. Wow. They, re- wow. they did the MGM Grand. And they said Sl- Cypress Hill and Slipknot. Oh! Like, oh. oh. Five stars. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's great. Yes. That's the winner. Nice job, sir. King Kong ain't got shit for me. Outstanding. They got rid of the Bruno Mars, Anderson, Pack resins. And they brought in Cyprus and Slipknot. That would be a thing. Nice. And we got Dominic up in here from Arizona saying snacks on a walk this morning. Oh, shit. Yeah, nice walk. And he doesn't give a fuck. He's like, fuck. Hey. hey, man, don't be sending us your Tinder <laughs> selfie up in here, man. <laughs> well, this is from uh, yeah, this is from Dennis saying, I was listening to the show earlier and was showing off the fresh cut for the gram. Oh, got Dennis up in here. Hey, ladies. Saying shout out to the 5150s. Get hey, on the shirt. With the wolf pack. The ladies, the ladies. It's just abs, bro. So that look, though. He gave that like look. Right? <laughs> hey there. He's, he's like, swipe right, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. Yes, I'm, hold yeah. tight. I'm here. I am slick. <laughs> Holding it, motherfucker. I am fresh. <laughs> look at me. You like this? <laughs> this side. Oh, man. It doesn't matter which <laughs> It doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, next. Adam. <laughs> right on, man. Salute, brother. <laughs> 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 and we got Aton up in here saying he saw Kelly Blaze at the airport. Oh, oh. This one was funny. <laughs> yo, I, I was dying when oh. I saw that one. I was like, yo, that's actually me so in Kelly? about 10, 15 years. I'm fucked. You're doing mini dad? Listen, oh, no. Yeah. It's kinda like, looks at like least he's admitting I'm his father. We're, get, we're getting Blaze somewhere. doing over here in, in Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how so do you Kelly? even got a mic? You doing mini dad? No, that's on from his video. The clip. Shot. Oh, that's good. Oh, wow. How did he get on? He got me. He wow. got me, dude. That I was like, shit made me laugh. I'm like, man. Colton gave him a mic? Where did that come from? I saw that shit at night. I was he was ready laughing. to say something. I don't know. They kind of look like. <laughs> I was ready to shut the fuck up, Tom. <laughs> you remember, you remember the, the bald headed dancer guy that, that was on the Six Flags Magic Mountain commercials? Yeah. Dancing into the. That kind of looks like to me. I don't know. <laughs> I thought that was the bagel guy, the original bagel guy. Look at that <laughs> dome. <laughs> fucking Six crazy flags guy. That motherfucker got dome. Thing is shining. Shine. Yeah, you think shine. I shine? Oh yeah, he's shining. That motherfucker shine. Oh, I got motherfucker. crazy bright diamond. lights. He's a natural. Hey, he's a natural light too. That motherfucker got his shit buffed out. <laughs> Word. <laughs> Turtle white. That's Cali buff right there. That's Cali <laughs> shine. <laughs> Next. And we got A-Town up in here, little influencers in the wild. What? Oh. Yeah. Uh, Why? Yeah. Influencers in the wild. Jeez, Look at our, Jeez. Good the God. The struggle. Have they no shame? No. The struggle. Shame? What is that? <laughs> oh, my oh. God. From the OF. Mm-hmm. Somebody pass me a rock. <laughs> 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 Easy, David. <laughs> Can you pick up this rock? <laughs> I want a rock right now. I want a rock. <laughs> rock! <laughs> Next. And Aton sent this one in too. The baby can't even have fun. I see. Oh, I've seen this one. Watch. Bow. Oh, oh. oh. Mom, did you oh, stop? Why do you have mom. that? Mom. Oh, mom! Why are you smacking her while you swinging on the pole, mom? And she didn't even Bang. stop. She's wow. practicing for work. She's practicing for work. Uh, but why? Oh, that makes me sad. Yeah, there. Yeah, man. Buy your baby some books. Hey. Oh, well. right. Others might say, "Why, why that baby walking around by that pole? <laughs> right? Didn't didn't she see her mama swinging around on it? Hey, why do you have the pole in the baby's room, though? Yeah, she's a hua. That's why. She's well, a that part, for sure. <laughs> she's a, maybe she's just working out. Yeah, it maybe could be a workout, Kelly. Maybe a professional. Yeah, there's a whole lot of judgment oh, over here in these days. Out. Huh? She knocked a fucking kid over and didn't even stop. It's like, <laughs> man, yeah. it was the only she room that she down. had in hey, the house. Michael the Jordan room. didn't stop doing his free throws because... <laughs> Horish activities. <laughs> She's a whore. She's a Aww. professional whore. Michael's not a whore. <laughs> Sorry, Blaze. I'm like, what fucking relevance? The whorish activities. 
Oh, that was funny. I think the baby now knows. He didn't stop taking time. free throws because his boy <laughs> scraped his knee at school. <laughs> he kept shooting them free throws, baby. He's a baby, baby, <laughs> little baby. And the thing is that the baby was crying and oh, she didn't, yeah. she didn't oh. stop spinning. Oh. Hell no, nah. she kept spinning. She was in a trance. Exactly, she was in the zone, she- Boppy. <laughs> Baby's looking she's, at her like, she's work, oh, why she's, you do that? She's working on that craft. What the hell? <laughs> she's like, you know, I'm doing this for you. <laughs> Too much blood in oh, the brain. Oh, <laughs> damn. You know, I'm doing good. for this. Oh, see, Dude, buddy, not, that was good. I don't know why good. you're crying. I'm doing this for you. See, <laughs> 30 years from now, wow. where will she be? Gonna, gonna she's going to be <laughs> doing 20. Asking her mom the question, why the fuck did you not help me? Yeah, uh, word. Well, <laughs> she's going to do it. That shit is forever. It might be slightly pixelated when she grows up right. and she's trying to show, look, mom exhibit A. You never loved me. You <laughs> kept spinning. Uh, <laughs> they, sit, they sit down with Dr. Phil. Yeah. Um, and the internet's forever. She never loved me. Look at it. Look, Look at, at it. it. Look at it. Look at it. It looks like put it uh, on the screen. You uh, kept you kept swinging. Right. <laughs> you didn't help. What do you got to say about that? Next. <sighs> and we got fly beats up in here with some mahi tacos. I love it. Oh, oh wow. wow. Yes. That looks good. Eat yes. that up. I would. Um, <laughs> I mean, it could, make, it could use less fucking Yo. sour cream. Yeah. In oh, there. Man. Yes. What do you mean? Oh. I know. I. You know what the fuck I mean. Just a tad. <laughs> it's a lot of sour cream. I thought I was very <laughs> oh, descriptive. <that's> perfect. <laughs> oh. I mean, kind of. <laughs> nah, that's a little perfect. bit too much, man. That's overkill. I mean, you know, it's a, it's it's a little cream. much. But it's you know what? Sauce. Some Hold on. Some of it might be sour cream and the other part might be that, that crema. Crema, yeah. You know what I mean? And if it's that... All good, but it's still a lot of sour cream. Yeah, <laughs> still know. slightly. I well, mean, off appearance, one might say yes. Well, the texture of that one versus that one, I think you're right. I would still eat it, but I'm saying I would take some of that sour cream out. Yeah. Mm. All of that shit's coming off. Perfect. <laughs> he said all of it. <laughs> he said, I'm not what having one mean? trickle. I don't want one. I don't want no I'm trickle cool. of no sour. No. What about the crema? Man, that crema got to go, too. Me, too. Oh. So nothing white, huh? No white creams? Uh, but ranch oh. is cool. Ranch is cool. Hell no. Hey, yo, on the plane, on the fucking plane, they gave us this fucking little meal, and they had a salad, and they had a big-ass shit of ranch. And I looked at it. I <laughs> saw B put his ranch all over his. I yeah. saw That's Lord right. put the ranch all over his. I'm unafraid. Man, I just looked at that ranch. I was like... Nah, man. Fuck this shit, man. I, I asked. Yeah. I asked He's traumatized. He's traumatized. I, I, I asked the flight attendant. I said, "Is this the only kind of dressing you have? You ain't got no balsamic vinaigrette or anything?" No, I'm sorry, sir. And this is all that we got. Shit does not sound that, like that. That Take, means that means you know you're gonna eat your salad dry, son. No, no. Perfect. I didn't eat that shit. Fuck that. Wow. It's a turtle food. Wow. <laughs> Next. <laughs> and we got Geo up in here saying huge score at Dr. Greentham Silmar. Yes, you did. With the early bird. Sheesh. Got the new flower. Wow. It's easy. Doctor's choice. <laughs> yeah, that gelato is very <laughs> fucking good. That gelato 41 right there. That turt mansion. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. what is the what's the the difference with uh, with with this with this particular well, the, brand? Well, this is a uh, um collaboration with legacy farmers okay. you know what i'm saying and and lifting them up and showing the fucking fire flavors that they have and you know putting them down with dr green thumb all right I and you. uh you know it's more affordable as well you know the thing is is that when you smoke this shit this shit is fire it is you know what i mean you can't really tell the difference but it's it's they're grown in very good facilities by some of the best growers in the in the country that's right. why fuck right. man exactly and that's yeah. the other thing you know yeah. a lot of these legacy farms are some of the best fuck yeah man they're doing it a long time and, and so doing it well the best partnering up with the best yeah Word up. gotcha you know what i'm saying Love so that. um yeah oh here you go <laughs> remember when we used to do this one bobo no, 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 no. You guys got to look at the way me and Bobo are doing it here. <laughs> that looks like you're poking yeah. a butthole or something. <laughs> <laughs> like you're that was our quiet one clap. Finger. <laughs> that was our quiet clap, dog. A butthole poker. poker. Wow. <laughs> Think what you will, but that was... 
<laughs> never that, thought of it that I'm way. I'm not doing it that anymore. I'm not doing it anymore. Well, that's, that, that was the traditional <laughs> oh, man. All right, next. <laughs> and we got Hesh Red up in here. Hesh Red saying, party one, two, three. Happy Saturday. Ooh. Yeah. Happy Saturday, indeed. Got a boy. Got Eat some up. mushrooms. Well, he did that on Saturday. Eat yeah. up. That is like the best Saturday possible. Sure is. He's got some good shit right there yeah. popping mm. off, dog. Shout out Hesh Rat. Aiming for a good time. Hell yeah, Hesh Rat. That was a good time, I guarantee you. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's, a, that's a party. Sure is. You're going to like the way you look. Yeah, it's a party. You're going to like the way you feel. You're going to like the I way it, it. everything melts. And we got JK up in here from Scotland saying some old school weed. Acapulco Gold by right. Barney's. Hell yeah. What the fuck you rising up a boot? <laughs> 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 that's actually for Damn. an old school strain. It looks great. That's a fucking good. Uh, that was a good one. That's very nice. Frosty. We were getting interviewed some years back uh, for the Rise Up album, and we were doing this um, interview with this Scottish dude. He was blind, but he's like a cool motherfucker. Not to say that blind motherfuckers ain't cool, but <laughs> he he was like this cool motherfucker. Like he was dripping. Like his his the way he was dressed. Out of here, but. He was very blunt and to the fucking point in terms of his interview style. He was fun, yeah, but very blunt. And the first question out the box to to me for the Rise Up album, and he's Cypress Hill. The fuck you rising up a boot? <laughs> <laughs> and we all just start fucking rolling because the way he said it. And then, like, oh, <laughs> the way he, I would have laughed. The dude. question yeah. itself, it was just like fucking enormous. That's Gold. Yeah. And I said, well. <laughs> well. Was he trying to be serious? Uh, no, he was trying to be fun, yeah. but it, it was just hilarious the way it was almost like a Simpsons character. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Groundskeeper Willie. Yeah, 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 like. <laughs> no, it, it, it was, and it was thick, just like that. So who's the bar owner in Simpsons? Mo? Mo. Mo. Mo Shizlack. Shizlack. We're looking for Not Oliver. Not Shiz. <laughs> Siz. Yeah, that shit, that shit was incredible. Too. That was it, hysterical, it, man. Was, Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> Scotland. I like Scotland. What the fuck you're rising up a bull? What the <laughs> fuck you're rising up a bull? God damn. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. Cypress Hill? Right. <laughs> 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 fuck you're rising up a bull. Oh, they, <laughs> they, point, they pointed yeah, that him. That shit sounded strong. No, yeah, they pointed him into the, our direction because, you know, he didn't strong know exactly. Accent. He didn't see where we were. Um, but, you know, he like, you know, right there and we're looking at him and he does Gives it to her just like that, and we let's like look at each other, like busting up, like what the fuck just happened here? <laughs> yeah, what are Great. we rising up about then? Yeah, what? Are, yeah, what? Are, good question. What are we rising up about right now again? He's totally threw us off. It was awesome. All right, next. And we got JG up in here saying, "Found these rad cypress teas in Sacramento." Yes, you did. Oh wow, so rad. Ah, yeah. Okay. Wait till you see the next one. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Let me put you out of your misery. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, he's tickling himself right now. Watch out! <laughs> tickled. Uh, so tickled really so good. tickled. And JG saying, "Just finished up some home grow, and just finished up drying it up." All right. Yeah, it looks All right. It's delicious. Cool. All right. Nice colors. <laughs> Smoke. Nice trikes. Color. <laughs> smoke. So y'all want to smoke? Yeah. Who don't? And we got JG up in here also. He didn't really just say what this was, but he's just saying some white plate activity. It's like a homemade little pizza deal. Yeah. Or it could be a slice of Sicilian. On yeah. some sort of bread. White plate. Like. On a white plate. Like, <laughs> bread that you kind of like put could make pizza with. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what is pizza. that? What? <laughs> what is that? Some white cheese. <laughs> is that wheat <laughs> bread? Or is it white bread? <laughs> 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 Who knows? <laughs> Whomever. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Why? Why? Are Why? <laughs> Are you asking? <laughs> well, <laughs> next. <laughs> and we got Kiko from the South saying, Yo, this weekend my niece turned 24. All right. Hell yeah. Happy, oh, yeah. Birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy 
birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. Celebration, bitches. Is it? Celebrate. A celebration. That old school uh, cholo theme party. Take 24 hits of one joint. That sounds like a cholo theme party. Yeah, what do you mean theme? Maybe I don't that's know. how they that's fucking the, dress. That old school background that has that everybody's dressed up with the bandanas and stuff. It seems yeah, like that's it was a theme. How they dress. Man. No. Well, you know, homie's got the tie dye on cholos. Don't, don't be dressing yeah. like that. That's Dunstan. that iconic background. With the hearts. He's yeah. like funkied up. He's got the is that a high and hungry shirt there that he's wearing? Oh, it is. Good eye. Yeah, man, fuck off. That's so we don't smoke the same. Yeah, podcast. there you go. Sorry, we don't smoke. The, well, you know, yeah, bro, yeah, no, it's close. Al- almost the same thing. Yeah, almost, all right. Bro. Oh, give me a fucking brick. Yeah, <laughs> break me up, piece. Just of saving that. you for measles God. banter later. Mm. Why didn't you call it that? <laughs> oh shit! So what if it was a glamour? You know what? He could call his father and sort it out himself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> But you know what I meant? That was dope. I'm was. just saying, homie was wearing tie dye. They're all wearing, you know, the essay shit, yes. except him. Except him. I don't think there's a theme there. There's just, you know, maybe that's the way they do it. Man, I'm hungry. Who's to know? <laughs> Next. We got Lee up in here from Parker, Arizona, smoking on some dosy dough. Oh. Oof. All right. It's been a minute. Dosey's sure good. Dosey's yeah, I like really dosey. dosey. I haven't dosey. had it in a while, but it's, it's good. When done perfectly, right. it's fucking pretty well. Agreed. But <clears throat> didn't look like it, though, just so you know. Like, I hate to tell you, sometimes people get genetics, they call it. No, no, Dosi Do actually has, like, a, a certain structure and, yeah. color, and a certain color. Yeah. That was bright, bright green. Dosi's always got a little bit of that purple in it and yep. whatever. It I'm depends just, it who be, grows it, though, yeah, too, because if they don't know how to dial it the fuck true. in. It'll get yeah. larvae and shit. Yeah. Yeah, so true. so you're saying that it's just the dosi without the dough? No, oh! you know what, though? <laughs> if he doesn't have the temperature swing, too, that it might not be able to even turn, but... Whatever, it's, I hope it's fire. It's yeah, doocy yeah. dough. <laughs> <laughs> and next up, Lee's sending this in, some Gianu Reeves. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh. Oh. On Gianu and them. Gianu Reeves. Wow. I All like right. this. Okay. GZE. GZE. GZ Reeves. <laughs> Easter E. Uh, Man. Easy Reeves. All right. And we got Madways up in here. I don't know. Aton's about to have a heart attack, but he's saying, rate my joint guys. Respects Aww. from Southgate. Oh, All what's right. up with uh, Southgate? Um, cool. Well, here's the thing. He said, well. <laughs> <laughs> well, what? If you will allow me <laughs> to give you a critique, I will. Um, all right, look. I don't know how long you've been doing this, but wow, um, things could be saved here, right? Because look, on the neck, you're not so bad, but you got to work on the, on on the frame right there at the neck. Without the neck being where the tip meets the weed, yes. right there, that's just got to be solid and all the way up. Once you get that down, once that's straight on both sides, on all angles. Then you might work your way up to this middle where it looks like you got a bent knuckle right here. You got here. Peroni's disease on that shit. Oh, come on. Why you got to turn it into a dick thing? <laughs> wow. Can it just be a broke finger for a change? Oh, here we go. What? <laughs> wow. dun, dun, dun. Anyway, yes, he's right. It is fucking parked off to to the side here. Wow. Um, ah, damn. Left, little left leaning. Well, set, meaning to say you got structural problems here. Um, In your thing. <laughs> damn. Um, <laughs> work on it. It's not a horrible joint. I've seen worse. We're going to have to give that a four. <laughs> four. Try again. <laughs> Four? No, but let wow. me tell you. But let me tell you what you're gonna enjoy that because guess what? That's gonna smoke like it a will. perfectly rolled joint. Yep. So Word. fuck us. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but if you if you wanted the rating, it was a four because right. you know you're off to the fucking side over there. Right. Wow. You're over first. You're over here. Right. Then you're over there. What's what's it called again? You're gonna place? stay right per- there. Peronis. You don't see those commercials that fucking all over the place, man. What do you Come mean? On. You know, uh, let's let's just well let's just I mean. let's just move on. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about it. Let's talk about oh, it. It's the best. 
And we got Mike from Kentucky up in here saying just because Callie loves purple buds. Ah. I had to share my third grow. Oh. Oh, He's wow. saying Barney's Farm wedding cake, but it's an auto flower, and he keeps it on a 24-hour light cycle. Yep. Jesus Christ. Because it's Damn. an auto flower. Yep. So look at that thing. Wow. Yeah. What would you like to say about that, Blaze? Nothing, man. Good for you. I <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Seriously. That's not the Blaze no, I, mean, I know. I mean, I'm trying to be listen. Pop. Look at that. Look at that, though. That's a pretty thick fucking one nug right it there. Sure is. That's what auto shoes you do. The spear, yeah. Big bun, yeah. One spear. One big cola. Purple. Yeah, man, and it's purple as fuck. So. That's that's a pretty that's huge pretty cola, dog. Cool. Yeah. Purple music. That cola is large, eh? Yeah. Makes it strange. Enjoy it, man. Brain. I'm high. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not like great. All right, next. We got OG Skate Show up in here saying it made a few lighters. Dude, Some Skate Show lighters. You sure That's did. Dope. That's dope. Hell yeah. Seems bro. like you did, baby. I'm down. Typography on point too. Looks good. Skate Show. The key is to keep them. You know what I mean? Because yeah. lighters are the most stolen thing yes. ever. Ever. World, you know what I mean? Ever. The lighter, I, lighter leash gang. Lighter leash. Or if you get a custom like case for your lighter. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You'll never take anyone else's because you got your own. You're fucking so... That's how I stopped taking everybody's lighter in here. I got to tell you, <laughs> some years back, before I got into the, my own lighter case, right... Your specialized shit, whatever it is, I would ask you for a light, or you, or you, or you, or them up there, or anyone in this building. Hey, let me get your light. I'll take that shit home by accident, yeah. not unconsciously. All day. And everybody, and everybody labeled me the lighter thief because I was do. I was. I got a jar at <laughs> home. Yeah, you, you were of lighter. everyone's lighters I'm from like five, six years back. <laughs> Man, you know what I'm saying? Since then. I stopped taking people's lighters, man. Thanks to these yeah. little stupid you ass need cases. Anymore. You know, I don't know. <laughs> Commercial's hey. gonna come out. Hey. Have you gone missing lighter? The worst is when you'd get you buy a lighter and then you'd come to work and be be like, "Hey, let me get your lighter," and you're like, "Fuck." <laughs> oh, that's why. <laughs> and look what going. And look when you got a specialized case, no one's really gonna steal it unless you are that oblivious <laughs> and you lose track. <laughs> You'll get it right back. I did it. I took Pedro's like Louis lighter or something, but I I called. I was like, "Whose fucking lighter did I steal?" Because I'm a huge lighter thief. Mm -hmm. And then when I looked at what I had, I'm like, "Fuck!" <laughs> and I think it was Pedro's, yeah. but, but it came home. See those those good. Those, goes, those right, usually go that home. Goes home. That's right. valuable. Yeah. That but goes you guys home. have ever. Uh, Scene, you know, if you ask B for his lighter, you know, for light, that he's looking at you until and, you give it back. Until you give it back, <laughs> yeah. wow! He's like peering into your soul, like you know, <laughs> your soul is not mine. going to he's put lived that the in life. your pocket. You got to know, I've trained your mascot to do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, look at him. That's right. He's looking at C minus. Is like, where's my toaster strudel? I heard you had two. Yeah, yeah big ups have. to the new, big ups to the new toaster over here. What four do you mean? Four, we, got, yeah. we got four slots. Four yeah, we got we got a four banger up there for yeah. him, so he can't hold out on us no more. See? Yeah. Damn, that's tight. You know, deliveries can come quicker. Yeah, Ooh. he, you know, he sent snacks mm. off and snacks, fucking, you know, <laughs> put his talons upon it and brought it back as Bobo described earlier. That's amazing. He, he put, somebody he, coming out of He his gripped room. it and brought it back. He gripped an amazing. It. He grips things. He grips things. He's a gripper. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. He likes the grip. Oh, boy. You made He's that sound gripper. crazy. He's Next. Next. <laughs> like, <laughs> grip. That's wild, yo. Wild. He's grip gang. Grip. <laughs> <laughs> Next. On grip. And next up in here, we, in got, a little, we got a little pizza fail. Oh. oh, no. Oh, why? Did, okay, why? First of all, why? 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 Why, dude? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, what would you oh. do? Watch me. I can do hey. it. I like how the friend filmed. He knew it was going to go. Not even Aton would do this. That's a shame. Yeah. Oh. Uh, An idiot. It's ruined. It's hey. ruined. Idiot. Those guys are pussies. Just why? fucking just Oh, on. man. Okay. You, need, you need gloves. That No, Stupid. see, that's why you. <laughs> oh. You idiot. Made a mess. Man. The Gary slap. What you mean? He's ruined. <laughs> why would you do that? That's yeah, rude. why would you do that? Because yeah. they got high. Hey, but you know, like I said earlier, it's fucked up. The internet is forever. That's how you lose friends. <laughs> That's how you never make 
friends. <laughs> oh, you're the guy in the video? Oh, you're that guy. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, Sorry. You guys no. want to go get some no. pizza? I no. bet you would, motherfucker. You tried, one, you tried to grab the pizza that was in the oven with your bare hands. Oh. Did stupid. you wash your hands, motherfucker? Two, how did you think you could hold something that hot it's out the bad. oven? It's all bad. And three, what kind of friends you got around you that... To, to not stop you from doing something that stupid. I mean, yeah. it was straight filming. They got yeah. filming him. Look like, at him. He was oh, fuck up. Bro, let, just oh. Let's be real. They were probably drinking, and you know damn well someone said, you won't grab that pizza with your bare hands. He's like, <laughs> He's like I will. watch me. Yeah, that's typical you know what? guy shit. I wouldn't doubt that you are absolutely 100% correct. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll show you. I'll show you. <laughs> you don't even know. That pizza ain't shit, yeah, bro. Frat, Dude, uh, frat I've, house shit I've right grabbed there. hotter things, bro. Yeah. You ever watched Kung Fu? You see homeboy sticking his hand in the hot sand and then yeah. grabbing the pot. I could do it. I grabbed a cake once, bro. No lie. I no grabbed cap, a bro. cake, dude. <laughs> I did it, bro. I did a cake. You grabbed the hot cake? No, just I just <laughs> kind of go. Adding sauce. Just adding sauce. Oh, you've it become a saucier. Cap. It was cap, actually. <laughs> you've become a saucier. You went to Bobo School of Culinary oh, Arts. Oh, I is did. That what it is? Became a saucier. Correct. <laughs> or is that a different school we're talking about? Yeah, that's a whole different school. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> Next. And that seems to be it for submissions. Well, thank you for your submissions today. Uh, if those of y'all that are new to the show want to send some submissions, send them BeRealTVContests at gmail.com. And we will run them just like you've seen today. We appreciate you for that. Um. Yes. It's all about interaction, and that's one of our interactive ways here. Yeah. Um, so salute to all y'all. Much appreciated. We're about to open up the doors to the Insane Asylum. That means y'all um, in the live chat, which we call the Insane Asylum. Um, Roman, the halls are the 5150s. Yep. All right, so if you would like to make a comment, a suggestion, <laughs> um, give a shout-out, ask a question. See the bars that I put there? You did. You can run this show back and hear that. Hmm. Um, you can do that via Super Chat right about now. Open it up. Welcome to the Insane Asylum. Let's do Let's this. Let's do this. First one up right now, we got Twackalax saying shout out to DJ Lord. Long hey. live hip hop. What up, what up? <laughs> Smoke Peace. outstanding. And we got the Godfather up in here saying dabbing some of Cali Blaze's hash rosin. My yes. man. My man. Enjoy it, brother. Enjoy it. Enjoy mine. Yeah, we will. And we got Buddy Blaze up in here saying, yo, be real as rocking the starlight funky tip in a hoodie form. Uh -huh. <laughs> Damn. True that. I didn't notice that. That's super colorful. I like that hoodie, though. He likes colors. Colors. Oh. Yeah, I don't got to be in all black all the fucking time, man. What do you mean? I'm back in black every day, all day on stage, man. I got to do something different in life. But you got an album, though, B. <laughs> See. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, just saying, B. <laughs> See, your response, your response to this? Uh, <laughs> I think my silence says everything. <laughs> <laughs> silence was the answer, for sure. <laughs> it's like it's like when GF says, but B. But B. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> and we got Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> That's an awkward pause, Colton. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say it next one. And I was oh, like, oh, well. Okay. <laughs> you knew. <laughs> yeah, that was interesting. Survey <laughs> said. <laughs> well, we got Detroit Dabber up in here asking Bobo. How many boxes of Bart's are you taking home? <laughs> He's taking eight trays. Trees. You know, uh, I don't know yet. I, I have yet to survey the <laughs> situation, but uh, it's going to be more than one. <laughs> At least. But you know what? I wait till everybody, you know, has This their is film. true. I, uh, I yeah. don't hog it up or bogart it, you know, but I'm quick <laughs> on the draw. See what you did there. You Bo know what I mean? I, I'm quick. So once well, I know this. He is a bogart. Bold. Lord, don't. Once, once I know, oh, yeah. once I know that everybody is eating, I have already collected my two extra take-home plates. Come on, <laughs> don't bullshit me. It's true. <laughs> it's true. 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 And we got Midget Mike up in here saying, "Welcome back, be real and Bobo Eep. 
Word up. Well, thank you. Eep. It's hard to be away from the table, you know what I'm saying? But it was for a good purpose. <laughs> Rocking the jams. Felt good to do the new jams, right, Lord? Felt great. Yeah. Stretched out a bit. Yeah. The crowd had liked you, it, too. You had your lyrics down. Yeah. You, I do. You, my. You I, I told you guys I would. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm not going to not. We was watching you, baby. Yeah, we was definitely watching you. <laughs> oh, I know you were. <laughs> I know that you were. <laughs> but that tells me that they know the lyrics too so if i needed to lean on one of them i could have picked up something and then yes sir right, right. back on the fucking horse boppy right. but no i i made sure that i was ready for this gig i had five joints in the chamber mm. you know what i'm saying hell yeah i had half the album uh memorized in like fucking three days damn that's dope I don't normally do that. It's usually like two, two, three songs per album, except for the first and second and third album. Everything in between, they get a couple of songs here. And, but uh, yeah, I knew you were serious because every time you had one down, you you know you texted me says, "Yo, I got this one down. I got takeover." Then <laughs> a little while later, "Yo, I got open your mind. Yo, I got it." You know, so I'm like, "Wow, he's serious." I did my homework, man. I mean, how could you have a new album out and not play any of that shit? These are facts. True. Especially you know what I'm saying? Even if it's one or two songs, you got to play something. Because <sighs> new fans, they fuck what you want to hear some of the new shit. Hell yeah. But you got, you know, we are like, it's a blessing and not a curse it to is. be able to play the songs we play because we still love those songs. And we think, like, if you're new, these are in your diet. You need them. Yes. Need to be in your DNA, goddammit. So we gladly play the old songs and shit. But we'll play the new songs too. It's just then you get the older fans who are like, hey man, I want to hear the old shit. Oh. Cool with the new stuff. Like play me one or two joints, but I want to hear the old shit. Well, we're going to give that to you. We yeah. always do. Settle down. Yeah, fucking settle down. <laughs> settle down. Cosign. Next. <laughs> and we got Megan up in here saying, much love to DJ Lord. Hey, Your Megan. Instagram is dope. Your adventures and DJ skills are everything. Thanks Whoa. so much for Cafe Quarantine. And love to be Bobo in the table. Word. Thank you, Megan. Bo Bo Thank you. Um, <laughs> Bobo can co-sign me with this. DJ Lord is one of the baddest motherfucking DJs on the planet. Listen, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll, I know you guys work with him different, but I'll co-sign. I watch your fucking IG shit, too, and... Some of the shit you do on there is just mind blowing, bro. Thanks, brother. That, Thank that's you. the Cypress. Thanks. That's the that's the Cypress Hill thing. We always have the baddest DJs on the planet. Word up, got to. Because not for nothing, DJ Muggs was an, a monster on the turntables. DMC yeah. champion. Word. A monster. Champion. Yep. Julio G. Monster. Yeah. Mix Master Mike. Monster. Woo. DJ Lord. Motherfucking monster. 100%. Monsters. Monsters Incorporated. Whoa. Oh, oh, Not for nothing, but shout out to Tony <laughs> Touch. Tony Touch did some gig with us, gigs with us in the past. Tony Toca. Yeah. Toca. Hell yeah. Yeah. And we got D-Rec Loco up in here saying, yo, be real. Yeah. I'm loving those prices on that insane flower in downtown shelves. Are they now permanent? Because people are loving it, and that's all I ever buy. No cap. Mm. Well, thank you for that. Um, downtown always dials it in. So salute to them over there. Salute to the squad, the staff. Um, man, yeah, they kick ass over there, man. And uh, I applaud them. So, yeah, that should be a, a thing. And we got Sven up in here saying shout out from Brooklyn. Yeah. Uh -huh. New York, baby, New York. Oh, Sven's from New York. Sven. You're from Sven. Oh, shit, Sven. He, he's in Brooklyn. Where you at? The man? planet of... Standing glass. I can't say the initials because that's against um, Bolton and Mines' religion. We cannot say. Can't say that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, <laughs> but Colton from Minnesota can. Colton Eric can totally say it. You can Damn. totally say it. Bobo. Okay. Next one. <laughs> Next. <laughs> he, he said that like mom right there, Bobo. He did. He did. <laughs> Yeah, like, wow. All right. That's that shook you right there. I saw yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Visibly, visibly <laughs> shook. Right? Well, speaking of getting shook, we got Marbell up in here. Oh, oh shit. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Colton, you little Panera bread stand rapper. Oh, Eat a bowl of blueberries. 
Then you got a Walmart Bob Marley over here who can eat some pork ribs, Doofy Cairo. Oh, my oh, God. Word? Oh, oh, nice. oh, oh, hey, you need to, you need to calm down, you fucking wish.com, Kevin Hart. <laughs> oh, shit. You know what, Marbell? I got that Glock by my side. No, Keep no, talking shit. trash, some hot rock's going to fly. Oh, Don't be yeah. walking down the wrong streets or drive down the wrong roads. Don't come home. Because I got your mom bent down to her toes. Oh, oh wow. Bars. 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 Oh, my. Bolton? Killed it. We might have to do Marbell versus Bo- Bolton before oh, your versus shit. battle. Bol- <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think that'll Damn. be more exciting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This rap you, battle is heating up. What do you think, Snacks? Oh, shit. It's very harsh. That shit cracked me up. Yeah. Um, what Snacks oh. said was that Bolton's got bars. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And um, do you know... <laughs> He might. He, he might have. Hot fire. He, he might. He might be <laughs> spitting hot fire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dialect. Clearly. That's that's what I got out of uh, what um, Snacks just put down. Damn. Yeah. Snacks has Bolton on fuck Yo, pigeons. On Snacks is the new uh, mixtape. He's gonna have a lyric sheet, so y'all will uh, be able to understand what he's saying. <laughs> mm-hmm. Y'all can see and read it for yourself. <laughs> And we got Yah Ute up in here saying more life, more love, more blessings. Here's to an awesome week filled with success and new opportunities. Keep the fire blazing love from Germany and Jamaica. Right. Cheers to that, yeah. man. See, yeah. that's Absolutely. positivity right there. Right. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Subscribe to positivity and love. Excellent. And work. Got Because all that shit takes work. Yes. It don't just happen. It's true. We got Jesus up in here saying they're changing my work schedule till 4 p.m. I might be missing the live shows next month. Ouch. Hey, man, you got to do Whoops. what you got to do, though. You got to work. You got to catch it on a replay. Yeah. I mean, good. or, you know, watch it. You won't be the only one. Yeah. You know, we thought about doing this show later, but everybody, you know, every time we take a poll, everybody says keep it at this time. Yeah. We thought about actually starting at 4, right? Or... What was the time? Yeah, I think about? we talked about or either six. four or seven. It was six at one point. We tried to like because by that time, East in, Coast in the United home. States, everybody's fucking home. Yep. Yeah. So we're trying to accommodate, but you know, there's also life. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, there's that. There's that part. Yeah, life happens. So when we took the poll, and and I think we've done it twice. Yep. Um, everyone that normally watches this show, or everybody that took that voted in the poll, was like. Keep it at Keep the time it. it is, which is 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 5 Eastern on the start. But we could take another one. True. <laughs> Facts be. <laughs> but we ain't going to do that right now. Next. And we got Chris D. Bands up in here saying, Yo, B, I'm 28, and I've been listening to Cypress Hill since I've been 11. Wow. He's saying, to be honest, I never heard one full song from Onyx on the reel. You guys are going to body them. Mm. Like, well, know, listen, I want go. you to thank your father for uh, introducing um, us to you. And thank you very much for that compliment, man. We that, It's all love, and uh, we appreciate that. We try we try to put it down in every way. Yeah, We don't get, you know, complacent. That's, that's the enemy. Complacency. Remember that. Next. And we got Midget Mike up in here saying, Yo, B, any hint for stage set for you versus Onyx? Tombstones. Oh, two of them. Body bags. Joints. Yeah. Heads Whoa. on my mantle. I think you get the point. Woo. Oh, somebody put that to the beat. Damn. Did you like that, Bobo? That, that was great. It came out of nowhere. And we got Uncle Lino up in here. He's got some breaking news, B. Yeah. Lakers fire. Frank Vogel. I knew that this morning. Listen, I wake up too early for y'all motherfuckers to be giving me some news. <laughs> you called that out, though, a couple months ago. I did, because like that's the first guy that got to go, unfortunately. Yep. And it's not that he's a bad coach. He's actually a pretty good coach. It's just that... Not with this group of not players. Not with this group of players. <laughs> no, that's real shit. No, seriously. And because uh, some coaches are great with certain groups of players and not so much with with other guys, right? So... This guy had an all-star team in in the way that the perception is, right? Like, he had a bunch of, like, guys that are going to the Hall of Fame on this team. They're all older. Mm -hmm. But that being said, they should at least be able to make the playoffs and then make the run in the playoffs because of their experience. Right. He wasn't able to get that because they were getting injured through the whole fucking season. Mm. And they just 
the guys that even are the role players that are supposed to be pretty good, they just did not snap into his system of defense. They could Damn. not. They didn't play any good defense either. Um, so he's the guy that got to go. Damn. There's probably going to be a few others that that are going to go. Any players? Yes, definitely. Some players are going to move. Damn. I don't know how many. There shouldn't be too many players that move, but there are going to be a couple. Um, and definitely, maybe you know. I think, I, and I know you don't give two shits. You're just indulging me here. <laughs> know this? Um, the GM. Yeah. They got to question his moves here. Right. And I think they got to get get a new GM. Well, but that's just my next bird opinion. Well, you, you got to understand, like, watching this Lakers series that's on right now is actually making me pay attention to more Lakers shit. Well, you know good, I mean? C-minus. So, you know. Because you're, you're losing. I mean, you're, I mean, you're from well, Baco, so you're not, it's not like you're supposed to love the Lakers, but. No. They usually grow on people that are from <laughs> California. If they're not a, a, a Warriors fan. True. Um, they're usually Laker fans. True. Or they might be Sacramento Kings fans. Let me not forget about y'all in Sacto. Um, yeah, it's hockey. Killer. That's right. Slap some free throws into the net. <laughs> yeah, dude. Home yeah. runs. Yeah. And we just got a hundred dollar super chat in from Whoa. Date Night Dash Night, but I don't know what he's talking about. He's saying twenty four flips for her birthday. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. What? what, what <laughs> huh? What? Date night dash night just sent in a super chat and it just says 24 flips for her birthday. Okay, so, so we could break this down. That's no problem. Um, Let's see. Um, Cairo could do 19. <laughs> <laughs> True. And True. we'll do like one, two, three, four. <laughs> True. Are we short? Was I short? All right, maybe Cairo does 20 and then we do one, two, three, four. Sorry, my math is <laughs> suspect sometimes. <laughs> Sorry, I can't, I can't help you, Cairo. Can't help you this time. Damn. October. Right. He's not here. Or, or or to have mercy on Cairo. I'll do. I'll he do can do 18. In <laughs> I'll do a 10 piece. <laughs> no, but. True. I don't give a shit. Whatever Look, guys want. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Five, 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 Sweet five. Enough. And then, you know, if Lord wants to take a couple, he could take a couple. He don't got to do five. He True. Do, <laughs> he could do one. Yeah. And then just put it, keep it going. You want to heat that fucker up? You got the click. I got you, man. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Starting, initiating, lighting now. Don't break it, dude. I got it. I got it. Well, it takes about 20 Wait, seconds to time heat out. up. Time out. We'll Let's let see. it heat up first. There we go. Heat it up. Bring on the All heat. Right. Rock it up. All right. Now it is starting to heat, bro. <laughs> Warm. Turn it the fuck up. Warmness. Okay. Keep on. Keep it moving. And we got Poncho82 saying, hi, Monday, everyone. Five flips for everyone on the table except for Bobo. Oh, uh, well, we're not. Um, Beat you to it. We're al- yeah, we already got yeah. these going on. It's we're we're going to mush yours into this right here. So <laughs> Simultaneously. Fusion. Bam. And uh, last week, the Dominator said that uh, when Bobo can smoke again, he wants to have the treehouse versus the table in a dabbing competition. Ooh. They will lose. Wow. Yeah, let's do it. They only got Bobo. Let's Can't be 1,000 about this. We're about mm, to do the Dominator, though. I'm not going to lie. Yes, that. the Dominator is a low key hardcore stoner. Let's not forget about this. It, you guys fucking totally underestimate. No, Bolton, too. Bolton dabs. Yes, Bolton dabs. <laughs> we Bolton. all know this. He's been dabbing. But I got, I got Cali Blaze down here. He's I can dab, like, too. He's kind of like the guy. And I can dab, too. <laughs> See, we were worried about Callie Blaze because he could do those fat dabs on a hot nail and probably blow us all out. <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys sound like you're sleeping on me. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> I'll blow your ass out. <laughs> Look at even <laughs> The old man even hey. looks like <laughs> found it by the... Dude, oh. don't throw stuff. All right, how many did you do right there? five. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> down a little shit. more. And we got AJ Sense up in here saying salute to the crew. Next time I'm in LA, first stop is going to be Green Thumbs LAX. It and, better be. And then Tommy's over in and out all day. Oh, oh, oh yeah. day, man. Oh. You settle down, oh, Ray. Oh. <laughs> you settle down, man. Ooh, man. I like that. Tommy. Tommy's is for um, when oh, you want to clear uh, yourself out. Ew. The, you know what the you, trick is with them? You got to just tell them very, very little shit. No, you want to know what the trick is? Don't oh. eat it. Don't, Don't eat go it. there. Don't go there. I like it. 
Yeah, yeah I like it. Just no. not too much chili on my yo. I don't want to hate on yeah. Tommy's, but I can't be, you know, I got to be 1,000. I don't feel their shit. No. In high school. What do you yeah. mean? Oh, I'll Always. take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. You mean the big ass tomato? Yeah, the, uh, yeah more, <laughs> more tomato than burger. I don't want hey, tomato I want steak. <laughs> Can I get that tomato burger? You want to hit yeah. that again, too? That was, that was a high school thing, you know, always went to Tommy's. <coughs> and after a while, you know, that chili was not good. <laughs> we, went to, we went to the hat or in and out The hat the with hat, the pastrami oh, the fries? Oh, was it so? Go ahead. Hat. Tommy's make you boo boo boo. <laughs> hey, Tommy's. Boo 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 I'm no. snitching. <laughs> Midget Mike is saying, I'm snitching. When you was gone, they was avoiding the flips. No resin, no tree. They not ready for the Olympics. Ouch. No. That's where you're wrong. Although C- is looking like he needs a retraining. Um, you want me to take yours? <laughs> yeah. gonna get stale this is a fucking dying over here. Come on, yeah, I got you. Come on, C-Mizzle. Well, yeah. you. You're a diabologist. You trained for this. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. It's true. <laughs> and we I got need to retrain. <laughs> so we need to retrain C minus. <laughs> and we got Hector up in here saying the Green Thumb show on Friday, one of the best shows I've watched. There was a lot of love around the table and shout out to Godfather. Salute to Godfather, Mike. Salute. Salute. My big G- our big bro. That button B? <laughs> you gotta do it with your mind. And we got Mad Ways up in here saying, be real, hope you play TakeOver at the Versus. Cypress Hill, number one, I'm going to be there. What a request. First song. A request. TakeOver, which is a pretty good song to start off with. We, that's the one. That's Lord, the. One that's in? the. That's a banger. That's the album. That's a good <coughs> You don't need to song. do multiples. You could just do the yeah, one. Yeah, I just did like seven, I think. So <coughs> You can move it closer. <coughs> Keep breathing. <laughs> yeah, you just got to keep breathing. There you got to clear go. that bowl. <coughs> you ready? Yeah. You ready? Keep that was pulling. the practice. Oh, Here we go. Yeah, just keep pulling slowly, slowly. Yep, slow. Oh, my God. You just got eight times. <coughs> oh, oh, my God. Lord. It my happened. God. It just happened. It just happened. Oh, All right, take it back. Take the hose away. Lord, from the grace of God. <laughs> from the God. What are you doing? The grace of God. <laughs> Get that stale flip. <laughs> he caught me midway. <laughs> upstream. <laughs> you got upstreamed. It's collision. <laughs> it's yeah. collision. It was imminent. Gosh. Yeah. <coughs> Gosh. Right? Sheesh. She's like. Yeah, this shit is on fucking Blastola, son. Here we go. Here we go. Are you not entertained? Go ahead, Dan. Hit that shit. Yeah, hit that yeah. shit, son. What hit the fuck you shit. trying to do over here? I know he's hitting it. He's hitting it in it. Hit it. In now it. I understand though why they use um why they don't <coughs> use the hose though. You could take the hit faster yes. without yep. that fucking hose. <coughs> so you know what? We will dispense of the hose or make the hose shorter. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know, GF may say to me, um, you can never have too many hoes or too much hoes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's true. Too many or too much. Sorry. Well, it was one of the two. Me, you see Next. You. And we got GDP Smoke up in here saying salute to the doctor. I'm about to spark up some secret triangle. And he's asking, will the verses be before or after the fights? <coughs> Surprise. Oh, that's a good question. Um, I believe they'll be after. <coughs> and he's also asking, who's your pick for the NBA finals? <sighs> That's a fucking good question, Chief. Um, I don't know. I there's a lot of teams playing really well right now, um, and you could say <coughs> these guys or that guys are favored, but I hate to say it. Um, not nah, you know what? I won't say it because then it might manifest. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> oh. Next, and that seems to be it. All right. Perfect. 
<laughs> Perfect. Oh, shit. <coughs> uh, we want to thank everybody for getting down with us on the Dr. Green Thumb Show today. If you want to catch this on the replay tip um, to listen, you can go to um, Spotify and Apple Music and search for the Dr. Green Thumb Podcast for that form of this show. All right? So if you don't have time to sit there and watch it on YouTube or, or Twitch again, you can always catch it again for the listen on Apple and Spotify. <laughs> uh, so we just want to remind you of that. And uh, if you have not hit the like button yet, please do so. <laughs> Smash that bitch. Or as they say these days, crush it. Crush the fucking subscribe. Nuke it. And the all notification. Annihilate it. All right, so that you can be up on game when we drop this content. Smoke boxes are coming on 420. All right, first yeah. one out the box. Um, we're not going to tell you who it is, but you will like. All right, and, um, you know, speaking of 420, I'm going to be uh, at uh, the LAX spot on 420 in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Probably around 11 a.m., and then I'm going to flop. Uh, you know, flip on over to. Uh, I was gonna say fly, but I realized I'm not flying. I'm flipping on over to L- to the to the Lincoln Heights spot. You know what I'm saying? Right. The other LA location, and I'm gonna be chilling with folks down there. And then later on, um, at Budology, we're gonna go do a meet and greet down there too. So that'll be uh five to eight p.m. on four twenty. The doctor is doing rounds. All right, so I just wanted to put you on game there. You can uh, check my IG for some of that information. Look at the flyers, times, and whatnot. Or, you know, hit the fucking link. All that. C minus. You got shout outs? I, I think. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> what up, everyone? Hey, thanks to everyone who joined me in the morning on Twitch. We did all rock uh, as we do on Mondays. Uh, so tomorrow, me and B will be in the mix. Yes, we will. Here. Um, at B underscore real TV on Twitch, exclusively only on Twitch. Um, thank you to everyone that's uh, just hanging out with us. Thanks to Lord for coming by. Appreciate it. Thank you, brother. Uh, Cairo, Cali, B, Ra Ra, Dominator, Bolton, uh, Aton, uh, everyone in the kitchen sink crew in the 5150s. Uh, yeah, we'll just see you tomorrow. Thank you to Dustin. In advance, because can't wait to eat right now. It's going to be sick. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to everybody that watches the show and hangs out with us. Appreciate it. DJ Lord. Yo. Shouts out to the Be Real TV family. Thanks for having me. High as a fucking kite right now. <laughs> but uh, big ups to my Instagram followers. If you're not following, follow my Insta on today. <laughs> <laughs> Catch me at Coachella. This Friday, yeah. 15th, catch me again at Coachella on the 22nd, nice. <coughs> taking it to the ass. And uh, and don't hit him up for no goddamn tickets. And don't <laughs> hit me up for no goddamn <laughs> tickets, because I ain't got you. Don't, yeah. right. don't do it, Cuddy. Yeah. No guest list. No guest list. Shit no list. Guest list. You get shit list. That's you right. List. Bolton. Shout out to the Insane Asylum. Thank you guys so much. Munchy Monday today at all Dr. Green Thumb locations, 15% off. Shout out to Ray, Morning Shot Films. Shout out to The Dominator. And uh, DJ Lord, I'm going to need a uh, three Coachella tickets. One for Marbell, <laughs> one for his mom, and one for me. <laughs> oh, Thank my you. God. He got it in. Salute to Bolton. That was good. Uh, salute to Bolton. Wanted to say uh, shout out to everybody who's uh, boosting our server on Discord. Shout out to Rocky, Heebie Utah Hawk, Megan, Ruthless Loke, FTK, Bryce, Movie Man, and Double Gabriel. You guys are Fucking dope as hell. You guys follow me at Kyro Loves You and be on the lookout for Twitch streams from me. And we got the mix tomorrow and Thursday on Twitch. So follow over there. Kali bless. Always shout out to my... Uh, <clears throat> you know, those flips fuck my throat up. Yeah. I've been choking ever since. Anyway, <laughs> shout out to my girl. Shout out to everybody who buys our product. Shout out. Everybody come. Make sure you come down to the grand opening Dr. Green Thumbs LAX. Uh, that's on Saturday the 16th. So come through. <coughs> throw the shot and uh yeah big shout out to jungle boys who just put us in uh the other stores that they have you know a lot of respect for those guys and you know they keep it they've they've grown as a company and continue to do go to do well so we're happy to be there and thanks for that um and everybody else for fathers man 
Have a good one. See you all Wednesday. Word up. Nighthawk. All right. Catch me on the socials on Twitter at Eric Bobo, on IG at Eric underscore Bobo, and our Discord, Bobo's Corner. Big ups to my Team Icon family and uh, also the Team Boosters that are boosting up the Insane Asylum server. Shout out to uh, Ashley Valentine. Thank you all for support and snacks. You got you got any shout outs? Mm. Uh huh. That was to everyone out there. <laughs> yeah. Thank he you. said, this is to all y'all. Uh, speaking of Discord, let's go to our Discord release real quick. Um, just so that uh, cam up, peoples. You know what I'm saying? Salute to our folks up Show your hall. face. We got Cause ah, yeah. up in here. Dan, Donnie, Jimmy, Jimmy Hesret, Rocky, yeah. Mr. Kell's World, Von Dubious. We got yes. the usual Jeff Rowe. He's probably working right now. Yeah. Yeah. He's giving an x ray right now. Utah Hawk. Or a colonoscopy. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy! <laughs> Go spooky. Word up. Salute to everybody. Um, Haas is throwing something up. In the Discord. Oh, look. He got a bag of something. Or is that a picture? Or is that a cassette? Good father. <laughs> is that a something? What is it? Oh, Wu-Tang. Okay. You got Wu-Tang and who? Another Godfather. And Godfather, yeah. But it's the good father. The good father. <coughs> which the Godfather doesn't like. He doesn't really no, like yeah, that. So He doesn't like the good father. You should use another one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's got the... Okay. I see what you got. He's doing a lot of things right now. All right. Cool. There we go. Right Sh- on. Shout to Haza. <laughs> Haza. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. All right. Is Jimmy moving? Yeah, Jimmy is moving. Jimmy was perfectly still yeah. until you asked him to move. All right, all right. Perfect. He there he could is. Could have been like a statue right there. Dude. The statue of Jimmy. Jimmy! Jimmy, 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 Jimm